Hello and welcome to session number 49 of Outlander's Guide to Lidaria. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hi. Hi. We are back. We are live. I see us on Twitch and I'm recording. I'm recording. <laughs> okay, exciting. Let us bring uh, uh, the table. Here it is. It's a table as usual. And I have not taken anything from any of your spots assigned to you around this table. So don't look too closely. Huh? Oh. Don't spend hmm. uh, don't spend the entire session just wondering what this means, uh, because you will need your energy for what's about to happen in today's session. Okay. Uh, it's been a long time. I would make that a joke that it's been a year, but uh, I think it's to be expected. So I'm subver subverting expectations by mentioning it, but not actually doing it, which counts as making the joke. Ah, uh, Sid. Uh, hello. Huh. It is your turn to remind us what happened last time, and I just have one simple question for you. Mm -hmm. Would you like a musical accompaniment? Uh, this has its own music, believe it or not. Oh. oh. Well then. So, oh, welcome no. to another <laughs> strange reminder uh, of what happened last time. Let me share a screen with you all. I am... Let me know if you can see that. Wow. I shall bring yeah. this up. I uh, shall expand oh, it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and I shall make... Wait a second. I, I think I know what this is. Uh -huh. And oh, this, is, this is a different size of screen than I was expecting. Oh, okay, this will yeah. do. This will work. <laughs> <laughs> Let me make sure there's sound. Yes. Okay, go for it. Okay, let us begin. <laughs> <laughs> Looking good, mother. We are got yes. We are got to decide the fate of those. My players. mother want a luscious beard. <laughs> <laughs> Last night, trespassers attempted to aid in the escape of devils, furthering ill omens. <laughs> Fortunately, our priest Kovic halted their plans of escape and will bless us with witness testimony. <laughs> <laughs> Safety, mother, I will. Please, hold on! Alex. Let's explain everything from the beginning! <laughs> and last time on Outlander's <laughs> Guys to the Mario. <laughs> 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 it's like this is the good character for Brooke! <laughs> <laughs> you got the chops! Yeah! <laughs> yes! Pimp! <laughs> oh damn, Devami, it's like that. Yep, <laughs> early! <laughs> okay, welcome to the first cross examination. Yes. <laughs> I arranged a meal with this group in the late evening to talk. Would you like to press? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Why would you, our mother, decide to meet with outsiders? Explain! This village have had visitors in the past, priest. You were then able to resolve the issues without conflict. My belief is that we could find a solution that would help us all. Ha! <laughs> and in the process, <laughs> you place our village at great risk! What will they do when they return? Mother, have we not heard enough? There must be a penalty for this reckless behavior. <laughs> Uh-oh, that didn't go so oh, well. Oh, no. <laughs> well, the two mothers presiding this trial had made it clear that these would be punished with death. Hold it! You acted by... <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Undercutting our very traditions. Your children have placed great trust in you, mother, and this is your response? Irresponsible. Uh oh. <laughs> no way! He's steering the trial! We have to turn the tide somehow. We have 
to think of something, anything. <laughs> a plan was devised, you say? And why wouldn't they just return on a later day or bring even more people back? Thoughtless, irresponsible, short-sighted. <laughs> Let this be a lesson strangers cannot <laughs> be trusted. <laughs> uh oh. Oh no! This no, isn't God, going God. very well. <laughs> no, it's not. Lashkri. Oh. Oh, Humbugger and haberdashery! <laughs> Humbugger oh. and haberdashery! <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> you acted out of your own interest to save kin blood and strangers. Unheard of. There is only one conclusion. Oh. No. Uh -oh. Talix, do something! Talix, do something! <laughs> Come on, Talix! <laughs> <laughs> You cannot hope to change them. Can you help the mother see that their children's safety lies in removing danger, uncertainty, omens? <laughs> Easier said than done! <laughs> we have to change our thinking. What do they want? Think Enough! Inside the box. <laughs> Hmm. Hold it. No, 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 hold on one moment. Do we not have the time for a fair trial to present evidence and testimony? I don't remember just the OC trial. <laughs> Let's begin the session and find out. I remember all of this. Oh. <laughs> oh. And that was that. Damn. Is, that was great. <laughs> well done. <laughs> <laughs> We're on the rope. Excited to see how Brooke escalates this. <laughs> how Brooke de escalates this next, <laughs> next time. De escalate. You have, de uh, you have two days. Oh. <laughs> well, um, <laughs> I two days. Excuse me, but um. <laughs> excuse me, but um. Uh, objection, Your Honor. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we should just. Kill people. It's not, it's not very nice. <laughs> it's not a very nice thing to do. <laughs> why is it, why is my talus Canadian all of a sudden? <laughs> oh, you know. Oh, that there, that's not a very nice thing to do there, bud. We, no, we don't like to kill people, you know. <laughs> well, thank you for all your hard work, Sid. Um, no problem. Have really your much. objection inspiration. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I <laughs> I'm always just so happy that you guys are doing this. <laughs> I I <laughs> oh, okay, that was lovely. Thank you. Uh, very well. And with that, let me bring you back to your very, very doomed situation. No mm -hmm. pressure. <clears throat> um. So as a reminder, uh, you have reached this uh, uh, hidden passageway uh, within one of the many crystal uh, walls. Uh, the passageway has been uh, opened up by, by Meravesk, uh, who insisted that uh, you, could, uh, you could escape through there, as every other escape route in, the, uh, in this cave system would have been warded. Uh, and now you are inside of this room, your way out being one of uh, uh, one very familiar looking door uh, that is currently not opening for you. And your situation looks like this. Ooh. Oh, God. Okay. I think this no, should all be good. Please, please I have, have fireball. <laughs> I have please made. I have made <laughs> copies of your minis because they're different sizes from the ones you have on your tables, and I think they should work, but 
I ask for a little bit of patience if uh, a little bit of tweaking is necessary. Ah, mm-hmm. uh, uh, Pip, we ended the previous session on uh, uh, you looking back out uh, um, towards the opening of the cave you had just entered uh, and seeing Kaovic uh, uh, outside. Uh, and as the two of you make eye contact, there is a loud sound of thunder, uh, somewhat far off, but uh, quite close to your general location. Rain is still pouring through these holes in the ceiling of the cave system, and water is beginning to uh, accumulate at your feet. The room that you're in is at a very, very slight incline. It's very little, it's like a couple of inches be- below where, say, Calvic is standing. Uh, and the water is beginning to accumulate in your little area, but um, not just there. It's pouring so much uh, that the the inches of water accumulating uh, as far as you can see all the way behind the priest. Uh, and as somewhere... Uh, above ground, lightning strikes, and for a moment there is a flash of light entering the cave system. Uh, you can all see figures beginning to move in uh, towards the opening of the cave. Multiple people approaching your location. And here is where I will call for everyone's initiative. Here we oh, go! Boy. Oh boy. I'm going to put this boy over here. Uh, he is just here uh, for the initiative tracker. Let's roll. We're doing fine. Uh, ah, okay. Uh oh. Uh oh! Oh, (laughs) All right, Pontifex, we'll follow your lead. Spoiler (laughs) alert! Not the time to be rolling poorly. Uh oh! I use a modifier of Alex, so I get plus three. I guess Mm -hmm. we're following my lead. Okay. <clears throat> Dennis, you're taking care of Talix? Yep. Oh. Okay. Is that is that Talix? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> the natural ones <laughs> counters are already increasing a little too much and we're just rolling. Am I putting that down yes. from B? No. Okay. F- yes, you rolled it. <laughs> it's your fault. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me refresh. Uh, move forward and back. Oh, Devami is missing. Wait, no, 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 Devami is good. Uh, is this correct for everybody? 12 on Brook, 11 Pontifex. Yep. Ooh, we're Ow. not following my lead. Let's go. Why is the guy with minus three on their initiative one at the top? This isn't right. Minus well, three? Something's wrong. I don't Pontifex see a has... minus three. I'm saying Pontifex has a minus three to his initiative, so why why am I at the top? Oh, of this? oh that's this, what this you meant. Yes. Boiling. It's incredible that like the highest uh of you guys is a twelve. The vibe is the only outlier at seventeen for some reason. <laughs> DM dice. <laughs> well no, but I also all oh, my NPCs are rolling poorly too. Good. Yeah. Well, good. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No. I mean. Yeah. Good for you. Um. <coughs> uh, let me just double check. Although this should be correct. Uh, what is uh, Pip's dexterity modifier? Three. Ah, uh, it is indeed correct. Okay. Well then, uh, I suppose that uh, Devamia will be the one to open this combat. Uh, and final thing I have to ask. Well, she will ask, like glancing back. Uh, um, well, all right, all right. In order, I have I have my notes here. I should be reading them. <clears throat> um, noticing the presence of Kalvik and of some guards beginning to move in towards your location, uh, Miravesk, 
uh, glances towards the group and says, this is your magic. You activate it, okay? You get us out of here. Uh. And she's gesturing at the door. Two of us tried to open the door? I think it was you. Was it her? Like, you, uh, oh. like you, you guys have opened it and saw that it just didn't take you anywhere magically. Mm -hmm. um, so that's a current situation. Um, and, and on this, on Miraveska giving you these instructions, we're going to actually begin combat. Okay. Uh, Devamia looks back for just a moment as if just asking for, for silently for permission as she steps forward holding her axe. Uh, is anyone going to, to stop her? No. No. Okay. Um, let me triple check how this works. Oops, wrong one. Uh, the Navamia charges straight at Kauvik. Um and uh, she she's going to to say just just in plural and uh, well uh, I know you don't understand me but just look I'm not going to kill you okay we just we just need to, to leave uh, and she will dash to get to him uh, actually she doesn't need to dash because uh, yeah I know she does uh, once she gets uh, uh, here. Uh, you see something large swoop from above uh, towards her. Something that <gasps> is uh, uh, simultaneously familiar in shape, but also kind of kind of spectral in its form. Uh, a large pair of wings flaps, but you don't hear any sound. Uh, something that looks like a dragon made out of pure light uh, swoops down on the Vamia uh, and uh, bites her. Uh, she needs a saving throw. What did I put my dice roller? Here it is. Well, she's doing good on initiative, but not good on to save. Um, and as the uh, this dragon made of light uh, uh, bites her, the, the bite and like its entire body seem to go through her rather than actually. Uh, land the bite but the contact seems to send this jolt of electricity up her body and she uh she shouts in pain and then dragon keeps on moving uh is this much damage and uh, uh she doesn't look too good um but she 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 grits her teeth and will keep on moving towards him uh use up her action to dash so that's uh, that will be her turn, which brings us uh, to oh hey the initiative tracker is all the way down here, which brings us to Brooke. Uh, DM, one question. Yeah. yeah. Does the dragon light refract through the rain and create rainbows? True. Yes. Yeah. Freaking let's epic. Go. <laughs> <laughs> well, I will take my sword. Take my shield and follow Devamia using my dash to get here. How much is that? 45. Okay. Uh, when Ooh. you get uh, within 10 feet uh, of Kalvik, so over on this tile, yeah. uh, I will need a dexterity saving throw. Oh, I'm lagging. Sure. Do not be the... lagging. Twenty-one. Okay. Uh, which? Where is his PC? What? Where did I put it? Oh, it's over here. <laughs> I make good stat blocks <laughs> that are easy to reference <laughs> uh, on the fly. Right. So that's a success, which means you take uh, ten points of radiant damage. Right. That's my damage. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, as the dragon swoops down uh, and also attempts to claw at you. And it, it just sends this weird sensation through your body. You could feel a presence moving through you and then out of you. And you feel as if you're 
your life essence has been eaten on, on the way. Uh, and you feel a little weaker, although you don't have any physical injuries. Uh-oh. <laughs> I think that's my turn. Okay. Fun effects. Um, these, the guards that are posted on the outside, are they, like, standing back and They're watching? They're all in the process of running in. Okay, okay, they are running. Mm-hmm. Well. Uh, hey, Brooke, are you hurt? Like, were you injured before this? No. I don't believe that Dennis's character was. Okay. Sorry, can you I repeat that again? I was, I was saying, was was Brooke injured before this fight? No, I wasn't. Okay. All right. Well, I guess uh, I'm going to. I don't have enough stuff. I guess I'm gonna use my my action to cast a uh, flaming sphere. Um. And I'm going to upcast it, because I have to. Uh, and let's do... Yeah, let's do uh, cold damage. Um, I think Pontifex is making like a, an orb of... Um, rather than like the crashing water from before that did the bludgeoning, it's like a, like a frigid kind of like half glacial uh, thing, like <clears throat> combining some of this rainfall into one... One chilly little boy. Uh, okay. Is this a spell of third level or lower? Uh, it is a third. Yeah, that is as high as we can cast as a third level spell. Okay, then uh, with a gesture of Kalvik's hand, it is counterspelled. Uh, oh. There will be. No, whoop. <laughs> <laughs> I would stop you, but uh, you're lucky I am all out of spell slot. Uh, uh, it looks like... <laughs> Kalik basically holds up a hand, right? And the, the, the orb is beginning to form. And it moves towards him. Uh, and then he, it looks like it's being squished down as it moves towards him. And then he just grabs it. And he, like, he closes his fingers around it and it fizzles out. <laughs> Uh, you've got this. I'll walk on the door. Uh, <laughs> the <rest is> going... <laughs> Turn around. <laughs> what, what's up with the door? <laughs> uh, so uh, like a... Well, I will need an investigation check, but it's going to take an action. Okay, okay. Yeah, then he'll go there. Uh, uh, don't let them do things to my back. I'm busy. <laughs> that's, that's it. Okay, well, Pip. Okay, so Pip is going to move up and through Squeak uh, says, Kalvik, you imprisoned children. Who's the real devil here? And is going to hold up his doll and take one hand over it and just grip the forehead of the doll and, and pierce his fingernails into it as he casts... Phantasmal force on Kalvik. Mm, okay. That'll be an intelligence save. Ah, I didn't mean to roll. It's okay, it didn't show up in on here anyway. Intelligence <laughs> save. Hey, I have an 11. That fails. And so uh, I want Kalvik to believe and suddenly see uh, emerging all around him. A circle. Oh, wait. <laughs> of like its own stuff. Of his own stuff. <laughs> the <powder>. ashes. <laughs> uh, okay. The, the ashes and powder, and uh, <coughs> as he like, as he like, you know, swings an arm near it. I want him to feel a uh, burning fire. Uh, and so he takes. 1d6 of what he believes to be fire damage. Ah. 
Uh, I can see that is you guys don't actually need to be sharing languages. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Roll the damage. Two. Two fire damage. Okay. Uh, you be you see. All you see is its eyes like widening a little bit. And then he, he holds out a hand, um, kind of defiantly, like he doesn't really think that this is going to do anything. And he burns the tip of his finger and he pulls back. And then you just see that uh, the, the expression of sheer fear and confusion at this. He rationalizes it somehow. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's it for Pit. Magic. Wait. No, it's not. Magic stones. Yeah. Now that now that's it. <laughs> okay. Uh Lashkri. She moves forward. Her mother uh grabs her by an arm and uh Lashkri basically moves all the way here and uh, as far as she can go. Um and uh, uh she will say important to the rest of you. <laughs> I've got this. You guys worry about the door. Kalvik is mine. Um, and she holds out a hand. And it's a very simple gesture. There is hardly... Um, she doesn't... How do I put this? She does not look like a spellcaster doing magic. Uh, she looks like uh, uh, a kid playing pretend. Uh, as she gestures forward, uh, her movement, uh, her head, the way she moves her hand, kind of reminds you um, a little bit of like a, a wave of water uh, that is just flowing forward, uh, and as if mimicking her gesture, the water that is accumulating on the ground begins to rise up and up and up and up and collects uh, into an enormous wave that then crashes down on the Vamia, Kalvik, and Brook. Oh. Um, oh. Uh, that will be, that, down. <laughs> that will be a strength saving throw from the both of you. And as this is happening, uh, lightning strikes closer than ever. The thunder so loud that it makes the walls of your little cave shake. And uh, Leshkri just laughs, delighted at what she has just done. She looks back uh, toward, towards uh, Pontifex <laughs> and says, I've never done that before. Uh, uh, what? I, uh, don't disturb me. I'm busy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have uh, a. Ugh, I have failures from both Devami and Kalvik. What did you roll, Brooke? I That's a failure. 17. Excuse you? Uh, so, all three of you will be taking this much damage. Um, mm -mm, that, is, uh, uh, that is 13 bludgeoning damage. Uh, this wave crashes down on you. Uh, and you looks are. Looks good, looks good. Hmm. You're all knocked prone. Mm-mm. Okay. Ah, uh, sorry, just taking notes. Uh, prone, prone, prone. Yeah. Ah, uh, despite. <laughs> Despite the rain, despite the wave, the circle of ashes seems to persist. Um, Kawik is almost a knock to through them, but like, as if... Uh, uh, this is an illusion, right? Oh, this is bizarre. Um, it, it makes sense to him. <laughs> it makes sense to him, it makes sense to him. Like, he doesn't notice like his leg went through and he didn't feel it. Um, and so as long as he didn't notice it, then he didn't do anything. <laughs> Uh, and he rationalizes it uh, in some manner. A squeak. Okay. Um, hmm. Squeak is going to fly on over to Leshkri's shoulder and just whisper with his uh, pincer in the air in front of her and saying, Hey, one devil to another. You hurt my friends again, and this is going straight into your neck. Got it? 
<laughs> Can I have an intimidation check, pretty please? Yeah. Uh, okay, here we go. Uh, nah, nah. Sixteen. Okay, it's gonna also do a roll. All right, the lash creep puffs out her cheeks and says, "Well, it's not my fault they walked out there." Ah, fine. I'll, I'll be mindful. All right. Uh, that's it. Okay. Um, does anything happen on Calvic's turn when it is go? Um, because of the the, the thing, your spell, Austin. No. Um. So what is it, it, it? What is it effectively doing? Just making him not want to move. If that is what your decision is, basically Kalvik just believes that that is real and rationalizes any any uh, illogical outcomes from interacting with it. Okay. All right. Um, since Kalvik is seeing effectively what is a kind of magic that he's familiar with, uh, that he uses, uh, and he is understanding it to be a circle that he cannot pass, and no matter how hard he tries, then he will not move from this location as long as that is uh, up, and he will <clears throat> make no effort uh, to do so. Cool. So what can he do from over here? Um, this is not using up concentration. Okay. I'm just going to leave it up to a die roll, which one of you it is will target. Okay. Uh, it will be Brooke. So, Brooke, I need you to roll a charisma yes. saving throw. Damn. Uh oh. Thirteen. Okay, uh, Brooke, you've been knocked on the ground by this wave of water, and as you're uh, you're prone and you're beginning to pull yourself up, uh, you're just on like on like all, all fours, and you're about to, to spring back into action, but something um, reaches up. Uh, some of the water that's surrounding you, uh, as if the, these tendrils of water uh, they they grab you uh, by the wrists, by the ankles. Uh, and then one wraps itself the, around your torso uh, and you're just beginning to, to just rationalize what's happening and fight back against them they drag you down and you disappear into the water and you oh. are not in combat huh. oh no <laughs> <laughs> well <laughs> bye <laughs> <clears throat> I'm safe <laughs> seeing, seeing the positives. <laughs> okay, Tekka. Uh, yeah, I'll just try to figure out the move here. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Okay, I guess that's the move. Uh, yeah, I, I would imagine Tekka would see Brooke being dragged under. Probably believe in the brook is drowning. I don't know how deep the well, water is. Well, the but... water is only a few inches tall at this point. Uh, okay, brook that's has even more just worrying than vanished yeah. uh, just uh, in a manner you cannot quite cease understand. Cease to exist. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah then Tegavul will just run forward. Brook, and something happens, I guess, when Tegavul gets uh, within close. ten feet. Yes, uh, I need yeah. a dexterity saving throw. Yeah, there it is. Uh, let's see. 
Is the okay. dragon giggle like that? No, I'm giggling because like I've, I've just been struck by the by the like thought that like oh wow, there's the child side of me that is very happy to be playing with these minis right now. <laughs> uh, this this dragon floats through you, uh, and as it passes through your body, you can just feel this energy, uh, something you've never quite felt before. Uh, it, it passes through you, and it's like being uh, just struck by lightning itself. You take 20 points of radiant damage. Oh, great. Ow! Uh, okay. Let's get right to punching, shall we? Mm hmm. Alright, here we go. First hit with the quarterstaff. Uh, a 24 will hit. Hey, let's go. Then this is the first hit. Okay, um, you're hitting with a quarter stuff, you said. Yeah. Uh, which is made of metal, right? Because it's your yes. your little contraption thingy. Uh, mm -hmm. So as you strike on the back of Kalvik, um, the the sound that your your stuff makes against him, it's um, it's softened by his cloak and his robes, but you can hear that there is like this this um, hint of just metal hitting metal. Uh, and you hit something solid. Uh, and he is like knocked forward a little bit. You did do damage to its full extent. Uh, I'm just letting you know like what you feel uh, he's wearing under his robes. Ah, huh, okay. That's interesting. <laughs> huh. Okay. Uh, yeah, then we're going to do some punches. Uh, and let's see. Punches, rolling with the punches. Um, if you'll give me a moment before you roll, I just yep. need to do a sure, tiny, okay. tiny thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, all good, continue. Okay. First punch. A 13 will miss. Okay, second punch. Uh, rather than miss, this 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 does not look like a particularly uh, quick and strong man. It's more that uh, um, you're really feeling, particularly if you're if you're attempting to punch, you can just feel yourself hitting something very very solid uh, yeah. that is keeping him safe. So those are both misses. Dang, ding, 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 dang. Uh, okay, well uh, we can do two attacks. We're just gonna keep on rolling with the punches and see if it works this time. Because <laughs> I don't really have another strategy. <laughs> Twenty-four hits. Okay, and then we're gonna add the superiority die. Uh, that is a D six. Hey, 16. that's solid. Uh, let me give you another little thing. Oh, okay. wait, sorry. Math. Okay, I got it right. 16. Um, those two times when you've managed to find, uh, um, to like land uh, a uh, strong enough blow, or you managed to hit like on the, on the back of his head where he doesn't have any protection, uh, you could hear um, a soft sound uh, from the spot where where Brook has disappeared, uh, some bubbles uh, coming up to the surface, and the water being displaced. Oh, okay. <laughs> it was only that. whenever you were like actively harming him. Got it. Okay. Okay. Uh, so since that hit, uh, Kerik should make a Constitution saving throw. I have a 17. Oh, that well. Lucky him, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to do two more punches because we can. Oh my god. Yeah, it does, <laughs> I, I, I always stop. forget like how crazy. One, two, three, four. You you already attacked what four times? And 18 Don't hits. Right. Yay! There we go. I love monks. 
Okay. Let me do this. Alright, there's still some, like, bubbles coming up from the spot where Brooke was, and then the water shifts ever so slightly, and then it, it calms down. Uh, and I'm also going to say that Kyrie cannot take reactions until the end of my next turn. Oh. Because okay. of the open hand technique. And then the second punch. Uh, I'm probably a 13 misses. I'm going to put like in his name so I don't forget. Yeah, keep going. No reactions. That's his name now. Calvick the priest, no reactions. <laughs> okay, that is that. Hey, but what would Talix like to do? That she's up in the initiative. Ah, uh, Dennis, that's... Oh, I'm muted. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Talix can't really do much, except for trying to figure out how to open this door. Okay. So we'll use his action on that. Mm -hmm. Roll an investigation check, pretty please, uh, if you could use uh, Talix's stat block. Of course. His investigation is a plus six. I'll just tell yes. you. So I have it right here. 16. Okay. On a 16, um, Talix is looking at this door. There isn't really much to, to be seen. He looks in the back. Uh, he sees uh, uh, just a little something right at the top of, of the door. Um, what Well, like above, uh, at the very top of the frame, uh, what looks to be sort of an indent. Um, no, that's the opposite. It's a, it's a relief. It comes up out, uh, and it's round and it looks pushable. Can he reach it? Not with his hands, but like he he holds up his staff, and he will be able to to push it like that. Can I do that this round? Um. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I can. He can. Push. Okay. Uh, he pushes the button, and the floor shakes a little bit. Uh, and then the walls begin to shake, and the walls begin to lower themselves. Uh, and you and you see that the cave, uh, the room you're in, was actually a little bit wider uh, than it originally looked. But it was an extra sort of like layer of stone. Oh, wrong order. Uh, then now begins to sink into the ground. Uh, and opens up the cave to look like this. Oh, wow! Oh, I'm damn. keeping one of those. Yeah. <laughs> it gets completely distracted and is now out of combat. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, um, there are crystals in this room set in a sort of like uh, almost complete circle around the the door um, and at first glance they remind you of the ones that were surrounding the uh, the one dragon that you fought earlier today it feels like it was a long time ago um, Pontifex <laughs> was the spell you tried to cast earlier a concentration spell? Uh, yeah I'm going to give you a little thing. Uh, since it was counterspelled, it did not uh, um, end the concentration on the previous spell that you still had going. Because I have here in my notes how you had attacked the magic up. Oh. Uh, from last time. Oh, okay. <laughs> Great. Um, so, with these coming into view and the walls no longer covering them, uh, you can feel that there is a fa there are faint traces of magic in each and every one of these. Uh, the magic is of the... Okay, uh, why did I not think about this? Uh, the magic is the evocation variety. Uh, and it feels like you, you can feel it right away because this is the Plurnan kind of magic uh, rather than Ledarian. So this is something that like you don't have to stop and examine it. You understand that... Uh, um, yeah, it's a it's a vocation, but it's faint. It feels like it's weaker than it should be. Uh, like these are supposed to be uh, more intensely emanating such a uh, such magic. Okay. Okay. Uh, unless Talix has bonus sections uh, that he wants to do, and that would bring us to the end of his turn. 
Yeah, Dennis, confirm? Yeah. Okay. Nothing else you could do. <clears throat> Alright. Um, the guards. Uh, armed soldiers begin to march uh, closer to the cave. Uh, they are coming here uh, to deal with the people that are next to Kauvik. Uh, uh, okay. Um, this one comes over here to check on him. Da, 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 da. This one is dashing. Uh, and then... Uh, more oops are showing up. Oh, great! <laughs> Get out of here! Oops. These are supposed to be. Ah, I have a system. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. Okay. It means here, and that means here. That means here and here. Okay. Well, very little difference. Cool. Uh, Tekka. Hi. Uh, you are being struck by a couple of them. We have managed to get uh, uh, close enough to you. Yeah, uh, that's reasonable. Does a 15 hit? Nope. Does, whoops, does a oh, 10 hit. <laughs> yeah! Okay. Um, so you see them <laughs> coming, uh, and you're, you're light on your feet. Uh, you duck, uh, you dodge. And uh, you can you can actually see the hesitation on their faces. They are not comfortable attacking you. Um, whether, well, you you understand. You can see that the fear in their eyes is the one you've been seeing this whole time, uh, and you being perceived as a devil seems to be working in your favor for for once. Hmm. Okay. Uh, that's all done for them, isn't it? Yes. Which brings us uh, to Mervesk. Uh, who's the next initiative? Uh, uh, the Vamis appears to Pontifex. Okay. Uh, mechanically speaking, well, actually, let me describe this first. Uh, as Mervesk comes next to you, Pontifex, and they, oh God, you're just trying to focus, and all of these people are trying to talk to you, and it's kind of annoying. Um, but <laughs> like no one wants to talk to me until I say leave me alone. <laughs> uh, she'll point at the at the stones that I've just. Uh, uh, then now you can see at the various crystals, and she will say, um, "I help for foreigner. Place these here. Uh, now I help you fix it, and she'll be with you." Uh, for your next turn, and she will provide uh, you with a help action for whatever you will attempt to do next. Cool. Okay, now to the Vamia. Uh, who pulls herself up, and there's a lot more people here. Everything has changed. The Brook is gone. Uh, Tech is here. There's a bunch of guards around her. Um, uh, and let me triple check this. Uh, um... Hmm. Okay. So at the beginning of her turn, she has to roll dexterity saving throw. Uh, oh, she succeeds! Uh, as the dragon flies through her, you see her sh uh, tech, you see her shaking a little bit uh, as the dragon moves uh, between, uh, uh, <laughs> within and then out of her body. Uh, and she glows for a moment as magic courses through her. She will take this much damage. Uh, and it's... Not the best. Uh, she's looking to the left and she's looking to the right and she's gonna glance at Tech and say, um, well, and then without really elaborating much, she does the one thing that she knows how to do best and she's going to swing at Kalvik as hard as she can with her axe. Um, uh, only one hits. For this much damage, um, her axe hits really hard against his chest. But again, there's this loud clank uh, of metal being struck. Uh, Kalvik uh, nearly falls backward with the strength of Dvamius blows, uh, but remains standing. Uh, taking this much, and on the second swing, he manages to duck underneath, uh, and then he still 
passes this, so that's fine. Uh, and after Devamia uh, strikes him and sees that uh, uh, progress is may being made but a little bit slower than she expected, she will say, I hope you guys have a good plan. Pontifex. You're good. Uh, I only just now realized I'm off the initiative list. <laughs> uh, so, uh, Pontifex has pieced together that these crystals somehow power the door and that they were placed here uh, by probably Jamiel um, or, or more both. Uh, and they have evocation magic and they need to be charged up via evocation magic, I would imagine. Uh, you don't know how one. they are charged up. I don't know how they're charged up. Yeah. yeah. But you can make a guess like the one you just made, and I'm not going to like tell you if you're correct or wrong. Right. Uh, eh, worth a shot. Uh, I only have a single evocation thing that I can even do. Uh... And it has a range of touch. Mm. Uh, I guess while I have detect magic going, are any of these crystals like, I guess, lesser charged than the others, or or any that like stand out that are more charged than the others? Hmm. They all have slightly varied levels of charge. It, it just. Uh, it seems whatever they had has just been naturally fading away over time. Okay. Uh, then yeah, Pontifex is going to walk to this one, uh, and I'm going to cast the light cantrip uh, on it. This one? On this one, yeah. Okay. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right. So I'm going to make a 20-foot radius of uh, green light. Why not? Yeah, you touch the crystal and uh, ah, this is a simple spell. It is the kind of stuff that the new wizards uh, practice first. Um, but as you touch the crystal, it doesn't seem to quite take uh, hold uh, the way it should. Uh, and instead of lighting up the crystal, you can feel the magic being sapped out of you uh, and inside of it. And through your detect magic, you can feel that there is a, uh, a tiny bit more charge in it. Um, and for a few seconds, nothing really happens, and it's not uh, glowing. Uh, it's not doing the, the effect that it should. Uh, and then uh, something, uh, the, the energy that is within it, just bursts out in every direction, uh, in blinding light. Uh, and I need you to roll a dexterity saving throw. Uh, that will just be... It's just Pontifex. Uh, you have advantage on it because Mervesk is with you. <laughs> oh. She like pulls you down. <laughs> nice. I guess she has to rule too, though. Huh? You know. Oh, well, pff, there's oh. a missed nat 20, but whatever. Good enough. Oh, wait, no. Advantage. Oh, so yeah, nat yeah, 20. I thought it was disadvantage. No, 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 she's helping, not, not yeah. making me towards. <laughs> <That's laughs> <laughs> you fool and shoves me into the explosion. <laughs> All according to plan. <laughs> I guess that counts as a nat 20. Yeah, so it's yeah, a nat it 20, so it's a 17. Yeah, you're fine. Uh, so <laughs> okay. uh, as the light bursts out in every direction and it feels like a, a miniature explosion, it feels really hot and unpleasant. Um, you, you duck, Maravisk ducks too. Um, when when you stand back up, you can see that uh, she wasn't as lucky as you. Uh, she wasn't as quick as you. Uh, some of her hair is singed, and she's holding the side of her head. And uh, uh, she's only like one one of her. She has a hand over one of her ears, and it looks like she uh, she got dazed. Uh, uh, and you can you can see in her expression, her ears are currently ringing. Um, so you're fine. She takes some damage. Uh, d -d 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 this much. Uh, she does not have the amount of hit points that everybody else in this fight does. Mm. Uh, it's good. Uh, and then she will just shake her head and say, I think that is the wrong one. 
Oh, after it explodes, does it like dim again? Yeah, and you can feel that the the like through your detect magic that the energy levels in it are low again. Huh. Well, you know, eleven more times. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, this... uh, which takes okay. us to go. So, uh, first thing is, at some point during that commotion, uh, Kalvig is under the impression that he must have brushed uh, the circle again and takes five points of fire damage. Oh, I mean, yeah, he's been pushed around and hit a lot, <laughs> and the people that surround him have, like, uh, quite uh, the, the strength of body. Yes, he's been pushed around plenty of times, and uh, there's, like, the the ends of her, of his robes are singed. Cognitively. Yes, to to him, <laughs> to his impression. <laughs> um. Cognitively. Okay. They are cognitively singed. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, hmm, I guess, uh. Man, it doesn't like all of these guards by his friends. You can see there's more coming. Yeah. Oh, wait, he, he took damage. <clears throat> Hold on a second. Nope. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> um, this is risky. Oh? Whiskey? Risky biscuit. Okay. So... Pip is going to drop concentration on the phantasmal force, but at the same time is casting mirror or major image so that it looks like to Kalvig that the circle is actually expanding outwards uh, and encapsulating all of the soldiers near him. It'll look like... Oh. Oh, what? That's such a cool idea. <laughs> um, 20, 20 foot cube. Okay. So like, like this. Okay, horrible cube. <laughs> but anyway, it's around them <laughs> in, in sort of a circular shape. Here, uh, hold on, I gotta fix this. Nope. <laughs> uh, here's what I'm gonna give you. So the tiles are f affected, are the ones in this square, but like visually, it's a circle. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I like this sacred geometry that's going on sacred here. Sacred geometry. <laughs> and so, so it has expanded, and Pip's thinking here is that. He has established that maybe this circle does something, and Kalvik would know that. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then... Can I gonna... have a performance check from Pip at advantage? Yes. Ooh. Um, creating the illusion, sort of like akin to drawing, right? You, have, you want to make it yeah. look smooth and natural. Uh, and it mimics uh, exactly the way the way that the the ashes and diamonds should should look, uh, and so it's sparkling a little bit, but it seems to be impervious to the water that is just uh, raining on it. And uh, um, and with a total twenty two, it just looks seamless. Uh, and, one spell and ends, Pip's and the other begins. Pretty sure that they can't understand, but uh, just says, you "Better not cross that line. Just ask your priest." will tell you that nobody understands yeah. but <laughs> <laughs> the implication uh the fact that it hurts Kalvik, despite this normally being the kind that uh, repels dev devils um uh, you can you can immediately see that as the fighting is going on like this soldier is about to strike uh dvamia these ones are dealing with teka as you see the circle like expanding they they hop a little bit in in confusion uh, and then they're making an effort not to cross it, like, out of it. Uh, and you can see that Kavik is, like, extending a hand and shouting something that you can't understand, but it does seem like uh, 
directions or a warning of sorts. Uh, and they're all avoiding, like, putting their feet on it. All right. Uh, Pip's going to step back as well. Uh, get closer to the door. This is right here. That was kind of wiggly, but it's actually 30 feet. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. That's that's it. All right, it's Lashkri time. Lashkri has been uh, uh, abandoned by her mom, so she will happily hop this way. Um, she doesn't have a whole lot of movement, uh, and actually, like I said, hop. Uh, she's walking over there briskly for her. It's slow compared to all of you. She uh, she's a little chubby, and she does not look athletic at all. She has lived her whole life uh, in the same building. Um, so as she moves forward, she she is like the least threatening looking teenager, uh, but that is completely eclipsed uh, by her simply pointing, uh, like he like she like it's nothing, just merely simply pointing at the soldiers over here, and lightning strikes that spot. Uh, even from this distance, Tekka, you can feel the electricity through the water in your feet and gives you just a little bit of a, of a slight shock. Um, I don't think I even have to roll. I think these guards are obliterated. Oh, Absolutely. Wow. Okay. <laughs> uh, these are out. Actually, let me leave the corpses behind. <laughs> Yeah. What was it she did again? Lightning just struck that spot. Uh, all the way up from the sky. Uh, Are we the baddies? <laughs> 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 Maybe we shouldn't have released Devil Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> um, and the rumble of thunder immediately follows. There's just this flash of light that seems to... Uh, brighten the entire cave system and then thunder uh, follows immediately after and it's so close and it's so loud that Tekka for a moment you, you're like deafened for the next few couple of seconds um, and uh, I, I guess the only one who might be facing vaguely in her direction that would be able to see her expression would be Tekka um, and Tekka she's smiling uh, and she's saying something under her breath, but this is not uh, uh, in a language that anyone in the party understands. Uh, uh, but she does okay. seem satisfied with herself. Uh, Squeak is along for the ride. I think the Squeak just goes, DUDE! I... <laughs> 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 I... I mean... Uh, Lashkri softly, softly, in Infernal, uh, to squeak, will say, I warned them. Yeah. Yeah, 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 you, 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 you yep. They were, they, they were the most guilty ones, those two, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> those two <laughs> random individuals. <laughs> <laughs> I love the like over there. <laughs> I love that I am like, the devil is <laughs> I, Am I really the moral compass here? The <laughs> involved in this whole kerfuffle were probably the guilty ones. So yep. I mean what look, I, I don't mind the good roasting, but <laughs> <laughs> Yeesh <laughs> Anyway, still don't kill my friends. Poke, poke. <laughs> <laughs> poke, poke. Oh. Yeah, wait. that's it. Oh, that's it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me just, let me just send this. Okay. Ah, uh, cool. That brings us to Kavik. What, uh, what have I got left? Um, rolling, when I reach damage, I've forgotten anything. Um, is this not needed yet? This is a concentration. This is relevant, but doesn't do anything. Okay. Uh, then he is going. Um, 
Mm-hmm. He's going to take care of the threat uh, that is right here. So, um, heck, the two of you make eye contact. Uh, and uh, he, he reaches for um, like his neck uh, and he pulls at something. It looks like he grabs some kind of pendant on a necklace uh, and he just like tears it off his neck. Uh, and whatever he just grabbed uh, in his hands, he just uh, breaks down into fine glittery powder. Glittery? Uh, not glittery, <laughs> but it's glowing, it's sparkling. Um, and uh, as he speaks words that you cannot understand, I need you. Ooh. Dexter- That's a lot of dexterity saving throws, but yes, it's dexterity. Alrighty. Um, the water beneath your feet begins to boil. Uh, and you can feel the heat emanating from it uh, and it heats up more and more and more. Are you keeping the 10? I'm going to use my inspiration. Okay. Oh, it's the bacon. Big one. Oh, well, Whoa. that didn't help much. <laughs> it is a 12 then? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yoink. Uh, this is the bag. Yes. A column of light. Warm, hot. Um, it, it feels like fire just burst from under your feet from the water you're standing in. But it's not actually, it's not flames. It's just pure light and pure heat. Uh, and these are the wrong dice. Hold on. <laughs> yep. Um... This will be 23 points of radiant damage. Oh! Oh boy. Well. <laughs> bye bye. Oh god. Mm-hmm. Uh, it feels like you have been struck by the gods themselves. Uh, and for a moment, your vision goes black, but you can still you still maintain a little bit of consciousness, and you just cling on to it, and then it fades. Oh, and then it's your turn. <laughs> so, how deep is the water? Can Tekka still breathe while being unconscious? How... Yes. Um, okay. hmm. Well, I guess it depends if you fall like face first. I don't think you did though, because um, Kavik is like trying to keep some distance from you, you would have al- almost fallen into the arms of the guard directly behind you. Right. Uh, so you're, you're back first, you can breathe, there's only a couple of inches of water, well, a couple. Okay, okay. Um, um, you say only. Please. Only because it's not enough to, like, be an issue for you, but considering the entirety of, like, the size of the cave system, it's raining like crazy. Right. Uh, so I roll a death save here. Uh huh. All right, here we go. At twenty, at twenty, at twenty, at twenty. At twenty. Oh. Success. All right. Okay, and that will be it. That. Atalix. Mm-hmm. Uh, Professor, what did you do to those things? Hey, what? I, I'm I busy you? with magic. Oh God. <laughs> Uh, they, they put a light on them, they explode. Uh, find the right one, not explode, we leave. I think, <laughs> okay, probably. okay, okay. Then I guess he will cast Bird of Radiance around him. Wait, no, I think that's only creatures? Yeah. Well, I don't think is... I can. That is correct, but uh, in this case, uh, um, like it's not the actual effect of the spell that matters. Oh. Uh, much like light didn't do light, uh, water radiance will not do water radiance. Okay, just because it requires it to do constitution saving throw. Right, uh, that's okay. <laughs> now, normally, uh, this is in a radius because it's every creature around you. So I'm giving you a choice of either targeting one of these, or maybe if you want both. Um, yeah, both. Okay, are you sure? My man. Yeah. 
Yeah, okay. not my character. Who cares? <laughs> they both blow up. They just... <laughs> they both charge up with energy. And for a moment, it seems like uh, something worked. You feel like you're doing the correct thing. Uh, but they both just fill up with energy. Uh, and then, boom. Uh, and I need two <laughs> deck saves from Talix. Talix is pretty good at deck saves. I got this. Trust, trust. So I'll just roll with advantage, I guess. Oh. Mm? Oh, because you're rolling twice. And oh, 20 so that's a net 20 and then a dirty 20. And a 20. Uh, no damage whatsoever. <laughs> and you all doubted me. I see you, <laughs> green little man. <laughs> He's at Captain Safe. You can add the D net 20 to your counters. Um, since did. Alex just rolled so well, and also because of the angle uh, compared to how Pontifex was, uh, mm, but yes, he's back to the door. That's fine. Yep. Um, yeah, he ducks, he spins around, he steps away no, from he them. Yeah. What's that, Austin? No, he doesn't. Look. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, looking back to yeah. basically tell Pontifex that he didn't work, uh, he can see that there is something glimmering. Uh, again, on the door frame, and it's right where that button was, um, like directly beneath it. Like one spot that seems to glow for a moment, and then he goes back away. Ha! Huh. So it almost worked? Uh, yeah, let me, let me repeat what I said earlier. You're doing the right thing, you're doing it to the wrong things. Okay. So it's the same that happened earlier, okay. That's my turn. Okay. All right, the guards. These are dead. These dash in. Uh, and as they get over here, they are, um, they see this like circle uh, and they hesitate. Uh, and then they begin to approach again because they, uh, for, they, they figure it's not going to affect them. But uh, oh, Tekka is no longer here to see it. Is. I guess it's mainly just uh, uh, Leshkri and, and Devamia who are dealing with this situation. Um, Kalvik is like what you can guess, telling them to basically just stay back. Um, so they are gathering, and there's more coming. Uh, from here, uh, one is here and the other is here, and two more, uh, here and here. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, um, within the circle. Let's see, we have some going after the Vanya. Oh, he's being a champ. Look at that. Ah, just easily dodging one blow and then the next. Uh, Vamia in combat is in her environment. Uh, and although she's dodging these blows, she does, she, she is currently uh, very concerned. Um, <laughs> yeah, let's see. What do, what do these do uh, with Tekka? Um, one kneels down, Kalvik sa says something, uh, and then drops it, and instead we'll come over here. Uh, oh, look! They're flanking! <laughs> oh, no! That is one successful hit, and that is another successful hit. And Devamia was already hit by the light dragon, yes. so... Devamia? Oh, let me double check the math. <laughs> Devamia is just clinging on to life <laughs> by a hair. Wow. Hey. Uh, back to Mir Miravesk. Uh, Pontifex, you're kind of annoyed that you're being followed by this woman. Is there anything you'd like her to do? 
Can you do this sort of magic? I... I do not know magic. <laughs> just, just go away. You're going to be killed. <laughs> Probably useful somewhere, somewhere else. She's going to assist Pip with whatever he's <laughs> going to do next. <laughs> she approaches Pip and says, uh, You are okay? Yes? Um, I am. <laughs> Just looks back towards the. You open the passageway. Pile. Yes? Uh, I need to get my friend. Pip's Friends. voice says. Pip's voice comes from over here. Ah, that's right! <laughs> she, I don't think she hears it. Like, in that direction, there's rain and thunder and fighting. Uh, so, I totally, yeah, just... Looks at Pip like awaiting an answer and doesn't... <laughs> 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 well, Pip is gesturing at her. Um, and she just says, you be okay. And yeah, that... <laughs> It's the scent of it. Oh, Devamia, 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 Devamia. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Disengage and run, run! Hmm. Ah, the Vamia ducks under each and every blow, and it's hit one time, uh, but she sort of like falls forward um, in order to bring herself down on like all, all fours, uh, and something is going on that I'm not going to tell you right away. Ah, uh, Pontifex. Mm. I guess, is there... None of these crystals, like, really stand out amongst the others. This, this, to Pontifex, this truly seems random. Would you like to investigate? Sure. Give me an investigation yeah, check. Yeah, he'll go... Yeah, he'll go where he can, I guess, be in range of them. Probably here. Okay. Yeah, so that I'm in range with my detect magic on everything. Uh, Go ahead and give me a roll. Just investigation check. Yes. I have a bonus to this. Oh, are you one. kidding me? No. Oh my god. Do I have a... Nope. <laughs> you can use mine. Nope. Use it. <laughs> sure? From somewhere far away. <laughs> 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 it's Let me be useful to fight. Oh, that's significantly better. Uh... <laughs> So, uh, 26. <laughs> 26, okay. <laughs> uh, I don't effect. know. I feel like even on a double nat one, I still hit 10. That ain't bad. <laughs> it's definitely not 26. But... <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you're beginning to step away to, like, g gather your thoughts and take a very good look at these. And you you stop and, like, you, you, you move back towards them. Uh, I did... At the base of each of these crystals, you can see that there is something etched, and it's it's very soft. Um, but now that you're, you've noticed it on one, you're beginning to notice it on all of them. Each of these crystals is marked with a different letter. Mm. Um, so, since you started your investigation from here, then you moved forward, but uh, I can't give you all of them at once. What did I, what did I write here? Yeah, I mean, I guess uh, we can just okay, do them like four. Um, clockwise, left to right. 
Okay, pick or pick a group. Them, uh, yeah, pick pick a group of four. I was gonna give you these, but like you, you sure. can pick a different number if you'd like. Uh, sorry, a different no, set. No, that's fine. Okay. Well, uh, so actually, now let's do these four over here. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let me let me just like reflavor. Like you're over here, like you were originally sure. doing. Uh, so you're glancing in this direction, and uh, mm -hmm. uh, you're you're seeing some letters at the base of each of these crystals. Uh, and I'm just going to write it next to them. Does that work? Okay, you have a T, you have an I, you have an R, and you have an S. Uh, and this is, this is in plural and script. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's unfortunate because I found one of the letters in that whole word, so... <laughs> Thank you, Kazooie. I'm going to be here for a while. <laughs> uh, okay. I guess that's it. Is it? Is it? Yeah, I'll get. I'll get more letters. I guess mm -hmm. next turn. Hell, telling. <laughs> no. Telling is gonna keep pulling him down. A student, he must learn on his own. Telling <laughs> says letters at the bottom. What do they say? <laughs> Uh, yeah, we, Give we, me we'll a see. bit. <laughs> Wait, we'll doesn't see this old woman speak Plernan? Yeah. <laughs> uh, you be useful uh, over there. <laughs> <laughs> Letters. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, Pip. <laughs> um, uh, I know this door is magical, but does it have a lock on it? A lock? No. Yeah. It just okay. has a handle. Like, uh, well, just it's a doorknob. For a reason. Um, <laughs> oh uh, no, uh, sorry. <laughs> uh, uh, Pip's gonna move up here, uh, sort of climb on top of that little rock, and slips and falls. Um, uh, just scampering over here, trying to get a better look at what's going on over here. As Pip's action, he can change the appearance of the illusion. Uh, okay. Make it look like it's moving. And Pip is going to make the whole thing shrink. <laughs> but this circle is... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> and... Uh... Sort of as it encloses onto them, just this... makes it look like those that are closest to the edge or close to, to brushing up against it, the fire is starting to flicker and sort mm -hmm. of rise from that area. This version uh, of Tetris sucks. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Uh, let's um, see, let's see. Let's yeah, see. The, the ashes are just reforming and reshaping themselves. Uh, it's as if they're alive. They're kind of moving almost like a snake uh, that just circles itself all the way to the tail. Uh, and each uh, of these soldiers is like... So, you know, in their, in their in a five-foot square, um, they would have space around it, but like, are you putting it all the way to like where their feet are? Like, really, really close? Not, not super close, so that okay. in case one of them does brush it and doesn't mm -hmm. get hurt, they're right. not like, hey! It's as close, like, as it's very it's uncomfortably close yeah uh, and their movements are a little limited and you can see them stiffening up uh, and like they're they're uh, the, from their body language and, and the expressions clearly they want to get the hell out of uh, out of it away from it but they, they don't dare to cross the threshold what's really most important is that that Devami and Tekka are outside of this yeah. line um, uh, and me <laughs> uh, yeah. Who, who are you? And, oh, and the gurgling. Alex. <laughs> <laughs> yes, what Alex is, is gonna do though. Also, to protect against the guards on the outside, uh -huh. it's like there's also another one right here. <laughs> oh. Tekka's in his own little. <laughs> oh, Tekka's banished again. Bubble. Mm. Okay. Okay. Uh, let me see. With what is currently going on with Devami, Devami is reaching for him. So, like, her arm is crossed, crossing this threshold. Okay. Is that okay with you? 
that, doesn't change anything? That's fine, because okay. Calvig is under the impression, maybe, that they were immune from it from the start. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, okay. Panic mode has been initiated. Panic mode. Uh, Pip just, like, makes sure he reaches in his bag and pockets his potion of healing uh, in preparation, but stays put for now. And uh, that'll be it, I suppose. Okay. Um, Lashka is pointing her finger again. Does Quick want to do or say anything? Whatever you do, don't harm my friends. Let's, let's just <laughs> kill them all. I don't even care anymore. Just... <laughs> is Squeak okay? Define okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's been outed as a significantly less powerful devil than she is. <laughs> This girl's on par with my dad. <laughs> um, so Leshkri is pointing her finger like directly ahead, and you rem and Squeak reminds her to not hurt uh, his friends, and like she puffs out her cheeks and like sighs out in exasperation and points her finger instead instead over here. Um, what's radius? Uh. What? Oh no, that is not the correct one. Okay, this is a lot more reasonable. Okay, uh, so it's just gonna be these two. And I'm pretty sure I don't have to roll, but there's a chance. One passes the save, but it's still not enough. Um, in this particular spot, as as the lining once again strikes, you can see that it's. Uh, um, uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Describe, describe, describe. So, lining is not like in a straight line. Uh, it goes down through the hole in the in the ceiling, uh, but it comes from an angle because this this specific part of the ground is not directly under the sky. Uh, and so you can see that it's sort of following in the brief flash of light when it appears. It's following the direction that uh, uh, Leshkri is pointing, uh, kind of following her gesture as she smoothly moves it. Uh, uh, down and upward and to the right and then back down and, and boom um those of you looking outside of the cave for a moment are, are blinded and deafened uh, and then there is uh, uh, hardly anything left of the ones that have been hit by it wait i can get these too we roll for them wait no it doesn't matter uh they die help um, Why have we released? <laughs> and Squeak can see that, like the Vamia and Kalvik were like so close uh, that they they flinched away from it. Uh, they the the guards that were next to them weren't uh, like in its radius, but just the energy carried by the water that they're in uh, was enough to also climb up their bodies. Uh, the Vami and Kalvik, Kalvik seem to like almost light up for a moment, uh, and then they're fine. Uh, but that was as close as it could have gotten. Squeak. Oh, uh, and geez. the Vami is like threateningly moving forward. Please Thank tell me lady. this is going to be worth it. Um, all right. Uh, oh, mama. I'm going in. <laughs> <laughs> Flies over to Kalvik and uh, is going to hover hover over him. Is Quick um, visible? Yes. Okay, Kalvik screams. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna get you when I can. <laughs> <laughs> what is he doing? Is he like clinging to him? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Does does he have hair? Um. Oh God, hold on. Let me let me just go up. Oh. Yes, yes, he does. Grabs the hair. Okay. Oh. <laughs> 
Look whose turn it is right after. Uh, that changes what I was gonna do. Let me let me rethink his turn. Uh, this is not okay. Ah, uh, I was gonna do a cool thing. No. Uh, no. Oh wait! I need a deck save from from um from Squeak if he comes within within range of cow. Oh no! I forgot. <laughs> Uh oh. Oh, I don't think he can survive this. <gasps> Alright, that's, that's a success. On a success, he takes 10 radiant damage. Okay, that's fine. Uh, oh. Because Pip can give him resistance to that on a reaction. <gasps> okay! <laughs> Good team. Well done! Make sure to count that uh, not 20. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, the, the dra it is the, like the size of the dragon compared to the size of Squeak. Uh, it, it's, it's like... It tries to just eat it in one gulp. Uh, but... Uh, uh, yeah, Squeak survives. And then... The... Uh, the phantom uh, dragon made of uh, light uh, dissipates. Nice. <clears throat> so Kawik has his reactions back. Oop. Let me remove that. That's been a while, actually. Nice. Alright, so. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, as far as Kalvik is concerned, the Tis Devil needs to get out of his hair. <laughs> uh, but does he have anything that... Oh, yeah. yeah. he does. Uh, ah, but it's a ranged attack. Wait, is it? It's a ranged attack. Okay. Um, so flavor wise is going to attempt to grab him. Um, I'm going to roll an attack and it's a disadvantage for like a million of reasons. Uh, and that, what does he add? He's a 10 to hit squeak. Does not hit. Okay. Uh, his hands are glowing with this white light. Uh, the shimmers a little bit with these sort of like darker um, blue hues. Uh, and uh, uh, his fingers like uh, brush against the squeak, and he can uh, squeak can feel the same uh, the same type of energy, still the radiant kind uh, that normally he despises. Uh, it burns up a little bit. He's uh, I think he has like a little bit of fur, if I remember. Mm -hmm. um, but otherwise, uh, uh, is uh, harmless. Uh, and. This is a very Tom and Jerry thing, just squeak, just uh, <laughs> clinging onto him and moving around him. Uh, and the priest is just desperately trying to catch him and failing. Uh, okay. And, uh, uh, like, I don't need you to roll anything as Devamia oh. has been holding, uh, uh nope, <laughs> has been holding her action. <clears throat> and she's been waiting until like she felt like the coast was sufficient sufficiently clear. And with a couple of guards down, the others focus on her and Kalvik being distracted by Squeak. Uh, Devami releases her casting of Cure Wounds. On you. Oh, okay. Wow. I didn't know she could do that. That's wonderful. Rangers. <clears throat> okay, you heal up nine points. Hooray! And you're conscious. Uh, so you find yourself on the ground. Um, you breathe in and you end up like uh, swallowing a little bit of water and you, you spit it out and you cough. Um, and looking up at the situation, you can just see the vomit down. <clears throat> at your height with a hand on like she she managed to reach one of your like ankles um and as she's pulling uh, her fingers away from you she's she uh says how about you focus on surviving this 
Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Uh, hmm. So I can take a do action, sister? Oh, yeah, yeah, you have your full round. Okay. Like, this was a reaction. Uh, got it, got it, got it. Oh, God. How do we say Brook? Uh... The bubbles appeared when we hit Scout. I feel mm. bad for Dennis. <laughs> yeah. Why? Because we haven't really been fighting in this combat. I've been fighting Crystal. What? What? Was telling? He's been over here blowing up. Oh, rocks. that's. <laughs> God. He's actually blown up twice the amount of rocks I have. <laughs> I forgot Damn the Maravis was helping that. Pip, but I don't think uh, there was anything uh. that she could have contributed to. Uh, what does the group think? Should Tekka keep fighting or should Tekka step out? What does Tekka think? I don't know! That's what <laughs> it is! Yeah. Uh, I, I know we need to get Brooke back. Yeah, and I think exactly. there's only one way we can do that. Yeah. Brooke back? But Tekka, I mean, he's, he's looking pretty rough. If the guards <laughs> figure out what's going on with this line, it could get bad. Yeah. Uh, I guess we just keep fighting then. I, I can't think of anything else. So here we go. <laughs> back to his old tricks again. <laughs> you got us. Uh huh. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you for the confidence. Plays Rocky music. At twenty-one hits. <laughs> Let's go. That's six damage. Okay. Uh, Kalik needs to roll a Constitution saving throw. Okay. Uh, ten. Aha! Uh -huh. By being you. hit by that quarter staff. I guess whatever metal uh, Kawik wields reverberates, and he is stunned <gasps> until the end of Tekka's next turn. Wow. Hey, uh, stunned? Uh, that's what it says. Okay, which means he's incapacitated. Um, if I remember correctly, a stunned creature, an incapacitated creature, can't hold concentration, right? Blub blub. Blub blub. Ah, <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure that's how it works. I yeah, that might be right. I can check if you want to make sure. Uh, uh no, I feel reasonably confident okay. that you can't hold concentration if you're stunned. Uh right. so guess who's back? <laughs> it's uh, me, it's me. <laughs> it's here so you go. How guess you who's go? suddenly flanking? <laughs> Uh, from the depth, depths, oh wow, that's difficult for me to pronounce. From a deep <laughs> within uh, the ground, uh, the water spits Brook back out. Uh, Brook? Yeah. Mm, to you, uh, everything feels a little fuzzy. Uh, it feels like you didn't feel like you were underwater, but rather it kind of felt like you were um, just just floating in mid-air. Um, and you could... It felt like there was wind. Uh, you could feel it against you, uh, but you couldn't really fight it or do anything, and the, like your, your perception of time was a little messed up. Uh, you're not really sure for how long you've been gone, but at some point you just felt gravity and you felt yourself falling and falling and picking up speed more and more and more and then right when you thought you were about to strike uh, the ground uh, instead you found yourself falling upward uh, and then landing here uh, in this uh, in this water uh, and you are huh you're not even prone you're just standing wait no you were prone before you are prone yeah I was prone <laughs> uh, yeah uh, you are very disoriented uh, but you're uh -huh. you're fine. You're you are unharmed. Uh, Tekka Brook reappears. 
Yeah, Tekka gives a sigh of relief. <laughs> well timed. And then he goes for another strike. Okay. Um, against a stunned creature that's at the advantage, right? <laughs> yes. Oh, okay, great. Let's yes. go. <laughs> Double net one. Oh. It's uh, 21. <laughs> Sorry. A 21 hits. Barely. That's 11 damage. And then Tekka will stand back as his heels and do a dodge bonus action. That would be all. All right. Um... <laughs> well done. Uh, yeah, you struck Kalvik as hard yeah, as you could. You. Uh, and whatever had managed to, to grab hold of Brooke and pull him away and out of view has now spat him back out. Uh, Kalvik is barely uh, is struggling to stand. He seems dazed from, from your blows. Uh, and his eyes are unfocused. Uh, Talix, what's going on over here? Talix will look for the letters at the okay. crystal. Uh, Wait, this time I will stand like this so I can see the door. Uh, that's fine. Uh, on door, there's nothing going on. Uh, and this does not take your actions now that you're just like looking for these. So the letters that Alex is able to see are A, E, M, and L. That's not my action? Uh, it is not your action, so you can do something else if you'd like. So I can get can't over here look at here the other ones, though. Those letters? No. Good. Oh, I can't. Or did you I say can... I can or I can't? You cannot. You can perform an action uh, as usual oh. by, like, looking at these. Uh... I'm just giving it to you for free, but... Yep. Don't abuse it. I it don't... Full the time. Have... Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I don't think you will do <laughs> anything else. Sets his turn. Okay. Uh, is he going to let the others know what letter is? Oh, yeah, in? of course. Uh, okay, he's, hey, like, he's updating Pontifex on the situation. I need you to say it more Irish. <laughs> hey! <laughs> hey. <laughs> Give me a German <laughs> impression of an Irish impression of Plernan. Oh. <laughs> 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 Are you just assuming that Talix is slurring his words because he's so drunk? Because he's an Irishman, obviously. I hope you understood me, Professor. Perfectly. <laughs> you remind me so much of your father as every day goes by. Oh my god! <laughs> the drunken bastard. <laughs> I wish I could put this in the quotes channel, but like it's impossible to write. <laughs> oh, you expecting me to do an Irish accent? This is what you get. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, 15, 15, 20, 25, 30. Um. Oh boy. Alright. Uh they're coming closer. They're still avoiding the uh the the, the ashes. <laughs> so they um they're yep. just approaching Brooke, but they don't have uh, uh don't have an action left. Uh 10, 15, 25, 30, uh, 40, 45. Well, just, they're here. Same with these, it can get close enough, but I have to dash. Oh god. Let me in the circle. <laughs> Let me in. <laughs> oh. uh, more guards are coming. Stop! <laughs> oh. Take the hint! How many are there? 
How many guards do they need? They said no one comes here. <laughs> um. Hmm. Okay. While they wouldn't risk sticking their arms through the circle, uh, their weapons are different. Uh, are a different matter. Uh, let's see if this one hits the Babia. Have they hit anyone so far? Oh, they hit the Babia. It is a hit. Uh, this one is on oh. Tekka. Uh, Tekka, that is uh, that is third. Uh, that is thirteen to hit you. That is not hit. Ah. Uh, okay. This takes the Babia's hit points down to zero. Mm. Uh, and as an orc, she will cling to life and be back to one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, so Tekka, you see her just falling down on her knees, falling down on all fours, and then against and every explanation, she pulls herself back up. She's so uh, cool. With sheer willpower. <laughs> Sir Mithel. <laughs> 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 Meanwhile... Maravas is going to look at the letters over here. Ah. Uh, and she's going to report finding N B -E C O. It's not enough. It's not enough for Banjo Kazooie. <laughs> oh no! Okay. Let me disengages. Uh, and we'll step back. She goes like around Leshkri a little bit. Um, and after having seen what Leshkri, Leshkri can do, she's going to leave the teen up there. She's fine. Um. Uh, there's nothing else that Ivami can do because her action was for disengaging. Uh, so, Brooke! You're on the ground, no idea what just happened to you. Felt like you were in the sky for a moment. Do I still see Kao 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 in front of me? Yes. Good. Then I will try to stand up. And use bonus action to what is it called again? Not more. Oh, I'm on the wrong thing. Sorry. To do the crimson ride on myself. Nice. Perfect. That is perfect. And I will do a strike on Kovic. Uh, that is. <laughs> Salted arm. Well, Natural one. Oh no! Question. <laughs> I do yeah, get my answer. second attack, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. Then uh, Brooke, you're still it. disoriented. Uh, and not really yeah, sure what's going clearly. on with the circle uh, in front of you. I'm oh! just hitting. 17 is not it. Uh oh. Well. That's my... Or is it? Do I have to hit for this? What? One Wait, sec, one sec, one doing? sec, one sec, one sec. Uh -huh. Is that a natural anagram, Austin? Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Yeah. My turn is <laughs> over. Darn it, close. <laughs> Madarn it, close! <laughs> <laughs> Some of the crystals have exclamation marks on them. <laughs> Not actually. <laughs> Sorry, I don't want to confuse you. Madarn. <laughs> Madarnit Pontifex 
Uh, on, give me a minute. I'm working out the solution with anagrams. <laughs> it is either Ormland, Salted Orm, or Oatmeal. <laughs> <laughs> As we know, Jamie was a big Republican. It's either oatmeal or don't meal, but there's a zero percent chance that it doesn't involve food. <laughs> Can I make some kind of check that, like, a, like a Pontifex is smarter than Matt kind of check? <laughs> What kind of check? What, 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 what? I know we have the hive mind decoding this thing. But... <laughs> Pontifex is intelligent. I'm not going to ask for a check. Everything that you oh, guys have discussed out of cards are written it. in the chat. I am uh, Rome, obviously. <laughs> That's how you spell crystal. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so close. No, oh I mean, God. Demon's pretty good, though. Madar. <laughs> Madar. <laughs> Okay, yeah, what does what smart, smart boy frog think about? Because so far, I'm like trying to get with really big words, and I'm coming up with. <laughs> I didn't come up with that, but I'm coming up with something. I can't do that. My stomach! Oh, wait. The word calories is in here, and that has to do with food. <laughs> My face hurts. <laughs> calories? Calories, it's in there. I kind of want to put on some <clears throat> elevator music. <laughs> yes. so. hey, but, but yeah, what, uh, what, what do I need to do here? <laughs> Great question. <laughs> Help me. Okay. <laughs> or else uh, I'm gonna start putting in the craziest shit and we're gonna be here all day. <laughs> all we all we really need is just one letter. <laughs> I, I I will give you one free I? investigation check. Oh. Matt, are you serious? Wow. Oh, I doubled that one again. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what are the odds? <laughs> one in 400. Well, I don't know, because then there's the D4s in there. Are I don't know. It's, it's serious? Low. Do you want my inspiration? I'll give it for the cause. <laughs> I'll just gobble them up. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> How did you manage that? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> that is beautiful. Uh, I'm just is... scared at this point. <laughs> because if I do it again, I have to uninstall. <laughs> Come on, Dennis, Dennis's uh, yeah, inspiration gave you a nat 17. <laughs> Ice landstorm. Okay, here we go. Uh, it's a nine. So 18? Plus eight. No, 19. Uh, nine plus eight? Oh, wait, it's the no. one. Oh, 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 oh. The, the, the one you had the one. Oh, I, no, so sorry. 18. Yeah. Because it's a nine instead of the one plus one from the D4 mm -hmm. and then plus eight. So, so it's Got it. 18. 
Oh, I need to refocus. You guys have been cracking me up so much. <laughs> um. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Direct <laughs> salmon. No, that's indirect it's salmon. Too, <laughs> it's too many letters. <laughs> it's not. Oh no, you're right. No, that uses yeah, every letter. Yeah, that's, that's every letter. What? No repeats? So is Corn Metalist. Oh. <laughs> wow, you guys are pretty good at anagrams. Okay. <laughs> We've yeah. been working at it for like 10 minutes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, Pontifex, you're running all these words through your head, right? Uh, a lot of them are not words that exist in this setting. Uh, but... <laughs> Uh, you thinking about whether it could be food. <laughs> so they leave. Uh, same kind of message. You wonder if it's related to like this environment or what's going on here. And you're like walking around the door, just trying to figure out what the hell is going on here. Um, and two things strike you. One, uh, you figure like this is definitely something that. Uh, sorry, definitely. You feel like this is probably something that should be related to Jamuel himself, the kind of uh, you know password that, that he personally. Uh, would set up, but also something that nobody in this village would know about. Uh, and additionally, oh no, I misclicked something. Uh, boop. And additionally, as you're like pacing around this door thinking about it, uh, you're seeing the same thing that Talix saw, uh, which is like a little something at the very top of the door. And you're like a little bit taller than Talix. Um, so the, the part that Talix saw sparkling, um, is uh, sort of circular it's like this uh and barely 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 visible there are two others oops uh like this three, uh, letter so three word. circles <clears throat> it's a three letter word three letter word we okay can't do dog <laughs> uh. uh but i will uh, take up your take up your action with that investigation check. Uh, oh. <clears throat> Orm would be one letter from each side, but I don't know. Oh yeah, Orm. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's gotta be. It's gotta be. It's gotta be. It's probably Orm. He says that he came up with entirely on his own. <laughs> yeah, in six, in six seconds. In six, would, seconds. in six seconds, that would be the end of the turn. <laughs> in these last six <laughs> seconds, it, Pontifex's brain has been like working over time. It's I send corn, no, I let Iceland storm meat lord direct Sam and corn medal. It's probably just Orm. <laughs> <laughs> Pontifex's mind went through a hundred anagrams to find the perfect. <laughs> I've looked through 4,647,912 <laughs> realities and we guess it correctly in only one. I think you can spell manticores. You can. Yeah. That's, what, that's one of the first things I put. Oh. <laughs> I put a oh, bunch man. of manticores. Oh, no. I thought they found one. But you already had gotten it. Um, okay. So first thing Pip wants to do is bonus action. Squeak is going to make right on his promise and stick a needle in Kavik. <laughs> Uh, here we go. Uh, if this is an attack, it will be an advantage because he's stunned. You want to fish for okay. that, 20? Yeah, sure. No, one. no. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, 24 hits. Okay. Uh, so that's going to be four points of piercing, and he needs to make a con save. Uh, stunned. Uh, that's not an automatic fail. Uh, so I have a grand total of twenty-five. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that saves. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um. Uh, yeah. Okay. Pip's going to. Mm. 
Hmm. We need to go. As Pip's action, he's going to move the illusion once more. <clears throat> and he's going to make the line sort of unravel around uh, all of them. And instead, it's going to wiggle up. To look like this. Okay, just a straight line. Just a st I, can, I can do this better. It's gonna move this way and go like this. Because let's see, I can move it to any other spot within range. Ah. Hey, the, the animated ashes and diamond powder. Um, slither through the layer of water and they uh, end up just extending from one end of the cave entrance to the other. And uh, Pip just makes it to where it looks like it's, it's, you know, flickering at the very bottom. There's a little bit of far. And then it goes away. Okay. He's gonna step back and just look to the others for any sort of guidance. And that'll be it. Squeak is no longer with the Leshkri to hold her back, right? He's currently Rex. on. Uh, <clears throat> he's currently on Kavik. Let me see how wise she is. Oops, wrong stat block. There's two wise. Hmm. Cool. So, um, the lighting situation currently in this cave system uh, is that it is nighttime. There is no light shining from above. Uh, <clears throat> oh, excuse me. But there were the occasional lights from the uh, from the few uh, little houses where the, the lights were on and during your escape more and more of them as uh, the uh, people started to notice what was going on more and more of them have been lighting up there was that crystal in the middle of the settlement that uh, uh, also made a constant light and now there's been flashes of light whenever magic was at work wherever the um, the glowing dragon was flying some of these guards have lanterns on them and torches on them um, so you've been able to, to see in sort of like dim um, kind of situation uh, whenever lightning struck, everything got bright for a moment. But what happens next is that everything gets a little darker. Every single source of light present uh, near you and around you and far off in distance begins to dim a little bit more and a little bit more. And it's beginning to feel like uh, uh, darkness is a force much like light is. And it's descending over you and you all feel this chill uh, in, uh, in, your bodies, in your bodies, but also just deep down in your chest. Uh, as if your own heart is reacting to this. Uh, Leshkri lifts a hand, uh, her gesture, <clears throat> again, just very uh, nonchalant, uh, as if this is nothing. And water is beginning to rise. Uh, not like before where it was collecting in a wave, but more like it's raining so much uh, that uh, the, the water at your feet uh, is collecting just inch by inch by inch. Uh, higher and higher still. Deep in the cave, Talix is beginning to like uh, just get into to his ankles and then be and then above, uh, and it's getting into his boots. <clears throat> uh, as the entire cave system uh, is flooding at impossible speeds, uh, Leshkri smiles and says something at Kalvik, and he shouts something back, uh, and then. <clears throat> Leshpi Implornan. So addressing you guys uh, um, very, uh, very directly uh, and with this kind of chirping tone uh, uh, 
and emotion in her. Uh, she will just say, They are all going to drown. Squeak, it's your turn. Uh, hmm. <laughs> I think Squeak is first going to turn invisible and fly back over to Leshkri. She'll feel a weight on her shoulder and then hear, You want to drown them all, that's your call, but you're going to wait until my friends get back. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They better be quick. Okay. Uh, is that it from Pip? Uh, from Squeak? I think so. Okay. He certainly ain't gonna use the help action on her. <laughs> <laughs> What have we got left on Kavik? Oh, the thing I wanted to do earlier. Uh, he's yeah. still stunned, right? Oh, wait, that doesn't end. That's right. That yeah. only ends at the end of your turn. Never mind. He cannot take actions or reactions or anything. Uh, there goes his turn, Tekka! <laughs> no, I didn't get to do the thing, I wanted to do the thing! Mm, okay, now we're gonna be a coward. Uh, Tekka's gonna disengage and get a dodge. Okay. You shoulder check one guard on the way. Uh, and... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> ah, just push them aside. The other one tries to to, to reach for you. Um, while well, they're both going to... Oh, wait, no, because you're dis disengaging. Um, one of them not daring to try to stop you, the other attempting to do so, but, like, uh, <coughs> nervously. And you just easily slip past the both of them. And we're probably, like, wading through water at this point, so it's all very awkward and slow, I imagine. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that's the turn. Hey. Uh, Alex. Uh. Yeah. I guess he goes. How many? How much can he walk? How Thirty. Many? Yes. How? What was that? That was fifteen here. Unlucky. All right. Then I can't get there to Tekka. All right, that's my turn. He's just dashing after Tekka? Yeah. The bomb is also at one, I think. Mm -hmm. I can't reach either of you. Yeah, but just uh, if you're going to dash, then maybe try to find an area. Oh. That would reach both oh, of us? Oh, you mean... Or I'm sure, I'll give us that and then I'm here. And let me see one second. If you have your boomerang, you can't throw that, I guess, instead of dashing. Alex always has his boomerang. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. Something and then he no How longer much? has it. You know, you know what? He will throw his boomerang at Narash Guard. That's the one here. <laughs> At Narash sure. Guard. Uh, it's uh. Uh huh. Hiya! <laughs> Eleven. <laughs> It just hits the back, like, it, it was pretty well aimed, it hits the back of his helmet. Um, <coughs> and, and the guard just turns around and looks down at him, what just struck him. Uh, Anyone have enough. another inspiration? <laughs> 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 nope. Sadly not. Okay. okay. You know, I figured I'd ask. I have one. <clears throat> Alright, that's the turn. 
Okay. Well. Help. <laughs> <laughs> Um, all right. Some of these are approaching uh, approaching Leshkri. So she hold, holds up a hand and goes, ah, 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 and then they all freeze in place. Ah, uh, all these ones that are going for group. Uh, one second. Wait, 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 wait. Before you roll anything, let me read on something. Mm -hmm. Okay. How many attacks? Help. Uh, that will be four attacks. Right? One, two, three, four, yes. <clears throat> uh, sure. Roll the first one. Okay. Uh, this one is at advantage because of flanking. And yet I only oh. rolled one die. Where's my other die? Okay. That is a 10 to hit. Nope. Okay. The <laughs> next one, one. Also flanking. No, wait, let me let me just go in order to this one. Also flanking. Um, that is a 19 to hit. Yeah, it hits. Uh, 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 uh. That is six points of slashing damage. Mm -hmm. The next one is not at advantage, not flanking, coming from this corner. Okay. Yeah. It is a nine to hit. No. Nope. The next one flanking at advantage. Wait, how much nine. damage did the uh, did the one guard do to me? That hit me. What six? Uh, it six. Yes. It was six. Hmm. I will use, I guess, Blood Curse of the Eyeless and do some damage to myself. So it will minus four on his attack. On the upcoming attack? Yeah. Okay. Uh, on the damage, or is this like two to hit? Uh, to hit. Got it. All right, so he's rolling an advantage. Uh, this would be a 19. Minus 4 is 15? Nope. 15 Ooh. misses? Yeah, it misses. Okay. Well done. Okay, okay, okay. Huh. Now one more time. <laughs> Uh, I rolled for all of them, yeah? I rolled for attacks. That was four. Yep. Yeah. Okay. You didn't roll for COVID. Well, it's oh, not yeah, his yeah, turn. Not, not his turn. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um. Mm -mm. Okay. Uh, oh, no. Yeah, that's it. What would you want? Uh, what would you request of Merovesk, if anything? Oh, wait. You can't request anything of her. No, no, no. She has a she has a thing that she has to do. Oh. Um, she's coming closer to the entrance of the cave. Um, I mean, as far as she can go, which is over here. Uh, and she's going to call out to Leshkri. And as they speak in uh, uh, their own language, as they speak in Krell, uh, you don't know what she's saying, but you just hear, you do recognize, like you hear the word Leshkri being shouted first. Uh, it's clear that she's talking to her, um, and there is uh, quite a lot of powerful emotion behind whatever Miravesk is saying. Um, and uh, Leshkri turns back to look at her mother, and you can see that the, the fun that she was having up until a moment ago seems to have been dampened, uh, and she looks a little frustrated. Ah, uh, the mom is backing away. Uh, as she's passing, like by by the rest of you, she'll say, "Okay, uh, you guys figured out something good, right? We 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 have a plan." 
and loosely. Okay, good, because I'm pretty sure I'm bleeding to death right now. Right, well, it's only been 30 seconds, so, you know, don't don't pressure me too much. I don't need my guts, do I? They grow back, probably. <laughs> Devamia is dodging. Rook. Okay. Let's hope this gives me an um, advantage. I think for my bonus action, I will use Hidden Step. You and go invisible. Hidden Step. Uh oh. What the hell is that? Uh, as a bonus action, turn invisible until the start of your next turn. Your attack deal damage or force a saving throw once per short rest. What? what? How long have you had that? Since the start? <laughs> <laughs> There hasn't been a good opportunity for you. Oh my you. god, it's, it's with your years. race. Like, you've had a <laughs> yeah, terrible thing. It is. I don't remember We're all this. just like, you can do that. <laughs> <laughs> you can do that? Um, You're a wizard. And you know what? I'll think I will just try my luck and bolt out. So, is it just invisibility? It is just invisibility. Oh. I'm just hoping you can some disadvantage from them not seeing me. Okay. L if you're... Uh, Wait, if, if this is a tax of opportunities, uh, no, technically attack opportunities the warning can't of attack of opportunities, you have to see them. Right, right, right. The problem is that you yeah. can't move in between these units. Oh, I can't? Uh, you are boxed in. <gasps> can't you do the... Uh, oh. What's it called? Overrun? Is okay. that... Question, can I do something else then? Um, well, all right, yeah, we're going to bring up options. So Matt just said something. Uh, what were you suggesting? It's a thing called, uh, it's, it's a thing called overrun. Uh, I th yeah, the, the I think insane. it's an optional rule, right? Yeah. Uh, where you can, like, do a check to push someone out of the way. Like, yeah, like, it's basically through. an athletics check. It's contested athletics checks. Uh, and uh, to basically force your way through a hostile creature. I vaguely remember that, and it is like... Uh, but it requires the... an action or a bonus action. Mm -hmm. uh, well, similarly, to a similar effect, since you have two attacks, that is two chances for you to shove someone out of the way. Uh, sure. And once you have pushed them, you can... Bonus well, action and invisibility? Move. Okay, well, he, so... he, he would do invisibility after he shoves them. Oh, yeah. right. Yeah, yeah, um, obviously. I, I, and I know that your other thing works too, Matt, but I don't know where in the DMG is, and if... Uh, it's faster if you do it my way, I guess, because I don't have to look it up. Okay. Um, I was suggest I would have suggested pushing someone away as well. Mm. Ah, so that would be before the invisibility. Mm-hmm. Um, so let's see. It works like a grapple. So for you, it's athletics and the guard rolls either athletics or acrobatics. Are you doing it, sorry, on Calvic or the guard? Who could be weak? He, Kelvick is an old guy, right? Yeah, older sure, than I'll, any of these guards, yes. I'll I'll try to overrun Kelvick, I guess. Okay. So athletics, you said? For you, it's athletics. For him, uh, it's this one. It's a ten. Oh, I have a four. <laughs> You have two. You have a second chance. It's oh, one yeah, per attack. True, true. Um, Austin has to head out. Oh, I gotta go. Oh, Keep oh, playing. Yeah. Everything's fine. Okay. I'm sorry. Bye. Okay, all right. Bye, Austin. Bye, Austin. All right, it's 18 then. Okay, 18 against my 13. Um. Yeah. You try to shove Kalvik out of the way, uh, and uh, his attention was, he was still recovering from whatever Tekka did to him. Uh, and uh, he, he didn't quite see this coming. So the first shove, it's not that he didn't succeed, he's not stronger than you, uh, but you just didn't quite push him out of the way enough for what you're trying to do. Mm -hmm. And then on the second one, you just, uh, he falls onto the guard that's directly ahead of him. Uh, and by the time he turns back uh, to look at you, you have disappeared. And I, that was my action, right? So I have one full movement. Uh, yeah, you have hmm. your 30 feet of movement. 
Right or left? Let's see. Five. If I would run forward, would that pro that wouldn't provoke everything you could It would not because you're invisible. Okay. Second. You can only second. attack what they can see. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. So let's hope those don't hit me. Those four? None of them can. Oh! Because you're, you're doing invisibility thing, right? On a bonus action? Yeah. yeah I yeah. thought they could still swing. Okay. As long as they're in, uh, they can only attack where they can see. They can't take opportunity okay. attacks if they don't see you leaving. <clears throat> and I guess... Oh, I haven't seen Lash Creed do anything of any of the stuff she has, except for the water, I guess. All right. That's my turn. Okay, that brings us to Pontifex. Uh, oh, I guess I'm... <laughs> I just I walked up to the letter O on the ground. Obviously, <laughs> uh, I'll go here and I will I will light cantrip this rock. Okay. Uh the rock does not explode. Uh, and uh, it's... do the the thingies above the door light up? Uh, they are in the back and nobody's there, so you can tell. Okay. Um. But yeah, you walk up to it, uh, and m much more like the light cantrip should work, uh, as your magic is absorbed into the stone, it, it begins to glow, but it's not your glow. It's a sort of like deep, uh, dark green color. Okay. Uh, and then I will, I will go uh, five more. Uh, back this way, and that is it. Hey, right. Pip. Who's playing Pip? Uh, sorry, I said Pip, and then a car drove by, and I muted myself. Um, we're all playing Pip. What do you guys think that Pip should do? Um, oh. Looking at his cart or his sheet, I do believe he's out of spell slots because he has cast two. Yeah, that's all he has. So yes, can trips and yes, squeak. Um, would you want him to assist with the crystal thingies? That would probably be the best option. Yeah, if there's any way for Pip to activate with the crystals. Because cantrips can, yeah, just use the cantrip, I guess. Okay, uh, so his options are create a bonfire, uh, magic stone, the improved variety, um, mage and, well, his telekinetic powers and mind sliver. I don't know what a mind sliver does. It's, uh, Int save does damage uh, and also makes them subtract a d4 from the next uh, save they make or something. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's a brain attack. Can he... Psychic attack. Should he try that on Kaovic? In case he wants to stop us? It, uh, it does damage and makes him subtract a d4 four from the next save that it makes before the end of your next turn. Mm. That gives him a, a penalty on saves. Yeah. Yeah, I guess the question is, do we think that the magic stone cantrip could work for activating the crystal? Is it evocation? Uh, he does well, not have evocation oh, cantrips. Oh, no. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, oh, yeah, because Bonfire is Conjuration, I think. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's more okay. Hmm. He can't cast Light? Nope. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can't really think of anything else if we just want to, like, try to stay, stop Kowick. We can do that. Yeah, I think so. Okay, because uh, Squeak is with Leshkri, so he's no longer dealing with Kalvik. 
Uh, so we can just go ahead and uh, roll a little mind sliver at the priest. <laughs> um, alternatively, if someone else can get to the R, because Pontifex, uh, I also am five feet too short of getting to the M, but he can move me with a bonus action. Ah, uh, you'd feet. like you'd like people to shove you? Yeah, that could work yeah. just to just scooch Pontifex, give him a little five foot boost because that's, that's, that's exactly what I need. That's a bonus section. All he has to do is get yeah. like in in. So you can bonus here. action and mind sliver. Uh, yeah, yeah, you don't even yeah. have to be next to me. It's a it's, no, it's a more, telekinetic push. Yeah, no, but if he shoves it from here, you'll end up towards the sea. I think it's, I think it's a direction of his choice. Is it not? It's a shove. Uh, well, it's not, five it makes feet me do towards you save. or away from you? Uh, okay, towards or away. Okay. I knew it was more than one direction. I wasn't sure. Okay. Um, so I guess so you just have to get there. If Pontic the Pontifex takes control of the situation and uh, um, uh, he knows that his, that his slow legs can't get him all the way to where he needs to go. <laughs> give me a boost. Uh, <laughs> give me a boost. Uh, Pip comes over. Um, he doesn't even look at you, but you feel just shocked. You pushed five feet back. Um, da, 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 mine delivers vocals, so a little squeak. Um, uh, well, no, actually, he doesn't do that for himself. Ah, uh, anyway, 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 I need uh, a save of the intelligence variety from Kalvik, who I believe nails it. Is 16 good enough? Probably, maybe not. DC is 15. Uh, Skawik is fine. Uh, okay. That ends Pip's turn. Wait. No, yeah, that is correct. Uh, whatever Mervisk just said to Leshkri. Um, after their brief exchange, the teen looks back and she resumes doing exactly what she was doing before. Uh, and the water level rises even higher. Uh, right now, it reaches about two feet up. And uh, uh, it's making everything difficult to rain. Um, and she she giggles to herself. She moves back. Uh, and Meravesk is shouting something at her again. And Meravesk seems to have not gotten uh, what she wanted. Uh, since Squeak is with uh, with Leshkri, and Squeak doesn't have access to Squeak too. Not much. Uh, I think it's easier if we just move on. Uh, Squeak is just keeping itself safe. <laughs> okay, and so we have Kalvik. Um, Brook is still invisible, yes? Yep, till my turn starts. Okay. Then Kavik is beginning to approach. He's holding up a hand. Um, just the fingers open wide, the palm turned towards all of you, towards the door. Uh, and as he's stepping closer and closer, he has no idea how close he is to Brook. Uh, as it gets roughly over here, uh, and this, this energy begins to build up bright white with, with golden, a, a golden shimmer to it. It's building up in the palm of his hand. Uh, something falls on him. And Kalvik is thrown to the ground and the magic that was in his hand, um, <clears throat> it dissipates. Um, it's someone that none of you recognize except for Tekka. Uh, Tekka, you have seen this man once before, uh, as from uh, above, uh, like from from the uh, the wall. Uh, the, the, ooh, wow, words uh, from over here. <laughs> um, the father of Leshkri, Potrakash, uh, tackles Kalvik to the ground. Oh, <gasps> hey guys, your turn. Oh my gosh, let's go! Uh, okay. You know what? Okay, let's do this. Okay. Um, 
Tekka notices the out that whatever Leshkri is doing is doing something to the rain and the water. So he grabs the mask of the parrot that he got from the Atarava tribe. It says, A trade. Stop the waters, and this is yours. <laughs> uh, I can roll a persuasion check, and for reasons I cannot explain quite yet. It needs to be at advantage. Okay. okay. Oh, I forgot to add the modifier. Uh, that is 10. Is that 10? All right. Uh, Leshku doesn't even seem to hear you. Uh, she's Ooh. looking up ahead at uh, the, the appearance of her father that just... Uh, um, that just fell down on Kalvik, and both of them are on the ground and kind of wrestling a little bit. Um, she, yeah, she did not even hear you. Mm, okay. But her hand is still raised up, and the water is still rising. Okay. Seeing that her attention is only focused on Potokosh and Kalvik fighting, uh, then Tekka will run up and try to hold Kaovic down, giving Pet uh, Patrikash a, a chance to rise, if he want. And that will be Tekka's turn. Uh, okay, are you sure you want to do that? Yep. Okay. Uh, you rush over, and uh, uh, since Kalvik is already on the ground, it's uh, quite easy for you to just pin him. Um, like, he can't fight back against both you and Poshokash, so he's, uh, yeah, he's on the ground. He's not getting up mm -hmm. anytime soon. Mm -hmm. uh, <sighs> I imagine that uh, Talik says... Sorry, you, you tell me. What do I tell you? What Alex is doing. Okay. Uh, I kind of just... Yeah? Talix has an evocation cantrip. Mm -hmm. He also still has a first level spell slot left with, and could cure wound someone. R right. It, it's just that it Pontifex, I imagine, will try to light the M on. Yeah, because I can right. get to the R. Okay. The R. And with that, I assume you mean the Word of Radiance again. Mm -hmm. uh, pew pew. Okay. The spell, instead of damaging the crystal, it illuminates it. Uh, it's taking on this, again, this deep green color. Uh, the entire area. <clears throat> Uh, becoming green, enveloped in, in this light. Uh, I need to not blow up. That's his action. Uh, so Talix is done? Mm-hmm. Talix is done. Okay. Brings us to the guards. Uh, boop. Question? Uh, answer? Do I, s would I be able, while running, to, whenever I want, still use the uh, Curse of the Blind? Of the Eyeless, I mean? I is have one a, left. Is that a reaction? E yeah. But it says when a creature you see within 30 feet, and technically I'm running into this direction. Uh, it's fine. We're never really done, like... Uh, okay. Um, mechanically a like field of vision um you're keeping an eye of uh, what's going on behind you uh particularly since yeah. Tekka just passed you uh so yeah you you can look back and uh, if you want to do a reaction uh just for clarification i don't know Patrikash, right i don't know who that no, is none of okay. you have seen him outside of Tekka. okay it just looks like just there's somebody who else like. who is here and who has just tackled the Kavik. Mm -hmm. 
You can attack. Okay. So, um... Okay, this guy bumps into you. <laughs> Has <laughs> no idea what just happened. Uh, and uh, but yeah, he's going to he's going to go after Taka. These are going after Potrokash. Oops, I think he can find you. Uh, this can come here. <coughs> mm, brave one. Uh, also bumps into you. <laughs> uh, they're just beginning to pile up. Uh, oh god. Uh, and <sighs> we have these coming. Over here. And Uh, now the attacks. We have two on Tekka, we have four on Pochukash. Who's first? Um, Who's first? Okay, so in order. There's going to be a couple of uh, grapple checks on Pochukash. Okay. Um... Some of these guards are attempting to pull Pochokash off of Kavik. Um, <laughs> um, and uh, this man that just showed up out of nowhere is an immovable force. Okay, up yeah. until now. Uh, now is. Oh. <laughs> and then this was a failure. Uh, so one, two. And then this guard manages to grab him uh, and is attempting to pull him off. I don't. Ah. What happens if somebody grapples somebody who is grappling somebody and tries to move? Really? <laughs> it's a daisy chain of grapples. It's just a big train. All, all a grapple does is just sets both people's speed to zero. Okay. Oh, okay. You, but, but, you can, but you can drag Wait, no, people when you're grappling your them. Yeah, it's just... Yeah. It's their um, speed to zero. That's, that's what I'm trying... Like they're, they're trying to like you know achieve this. Uh, he's holding on to something, is what's tripping me up. Uh, I'm just going to make it an extra check. Like, he successfully grappled, but let's see if he's also, like, moved beyond his spot. Right, yeah, that makes sense. Um, and he is not. Uh, okay, what do I do with this person, then? Um, okay, uh, this guard is going to, like... Stomp on the arm uh, that Pochukash is still holding Kalvik with. Ah, so that's what a nat 20 feels like. Oh, uh, <laughs> oh. I feel like I haven't been getting enough of these today. Still terrible, though. All right. Um,. With one guard stomping on Pochokash's uh, wrist, um, he he finally lets out his yelp of pain, uh, and he's successfully pulled off of Kalvik, who is still pained by Tekka, though. Um, and as Pochokash is being dragged away, uh, let's see if Tekka is hit. Uh, none of hey, these are flanking. What'd you say, Dennis? Can I, I think I will use my... For, uh, my blood curse for the eyeless, so I will hurt myself, pop up in existence, spook some. <laughs> okay. Wait, not this. Since it's not an attack, it makes no damage and doesn't force anyone to make a saving throw. Uh, it actually doesn't even break your invisibility. Oh. Wait, are they trying to attack him or just to pull him off? Oh, wait. Are you doing this on portrait on the guard that's... No, no, on Tekka. Okay, Tekka, they're attacking him. Okay, then I want to do the one for Tekka. Okay, they're going for stabs. Okay. Ooh, so minus five. Okay. Uh, so the first attack 
goes from an 18 to a 13. Does not hit. And his second attack. Wait, uh, I think I have one more. <laughs> oh my god. It's a, I'm a bit confused because it says under Blood Melodic that I have two uses per short rest, but below that there's this Curse Specialist where it says that I have an extra I'll make Blood it, Melodic. I'll make it easy for you. Blood Curse of the Eyeless is a reaction, so you only can use one per turn. Oh, okay. Easy. All right. Uh, meaning that I hit with a 22. Yep, you do. Uh, which is a grand total of 7 points of slashing damage. Okay. You're not down? Not down. Get you someday. <laughs> Do you not see Tekka in the, in the rink? Dude's a thug. He's built. <laughs> built differently. <laughs> Can take a beating. He grew up in these streets. <laughs> okay. Um... Oh, sorry, I forgot the final guard. Um, it's going to go for Maravesk. She's within range. This is an armor class. Why am I even checking? It's nothing. <laughs> uh, this guard arrives over here and speaks in Krell uh, to Maravesk, um, who says something back. Uh, and you see... The, the guard reaching with one arm and hesitating because of the the illusion of the uh, of the dust still on the ground, uh, and then he says something else in this like somber tone, and then strikes at her, uh, and he draws blood, and the mother uh, flinches backward. Uh, she has been hit uh, straight in the belly, and he looks serious. Uh, and she will disengage and uh, move back. Uh, holding her wound, uh, or, uh, pressing a hand up against the wound. And then it's uh, uh, Devamia. Ah, who has nothing to offer? Devamia is going to hold her action to open the door. Uh, when she's told to. Uh, and she will just say, Okay, I'm in position. Brooke, you're visible again. That's awkward. Uh... <laughs> if I pull someone, how far can I pull them? Like, is that the same as my... Movement speed? It's uh, every five feet is ten feet. It's like difficult terrain. Oh yeah, this is difficult terrain, by the way. I forgot. Ah, I so said I have it earlier. Double but difficult I've been terrain? Coming. No, they don't. They don't stack. Okay. Like uh. And. If I would pull someone, it would be my action, right? You're basically grappling, so yes. Are you trying to pull Tekka? I'm thinking of it, at least. You could I... get both of you past this line, even with difficult terrain. I would focus on someone else, because Tekka ignores difficult terrain, so Tekka just uh, disengage and... Oh. So, if you were to help someone, it would probably be Maravesk because she can't do anything before the guards do something. But also, Kalvik will go before Tekka. Yeah. Let me check. I need to be within 30 feet. Do the the thing is with like the hmm. well, Kalvik would have to use his action to escape the grapple that's happening. That's true. He's still grappled. That doesn't stop him from casting spells, though. Sure. Um. 
Okay, you know, if you say that, I guess I will just try to, if I say disengage, do I disengage from all of them or yep. just from one? Can I say that I only want to disengage from some of them? No. Why? Okay. Just it takes a reaction. <laughs> Uh huh. Well, mm -hmm. all right. So that's not a thing, but I would allow it. Otherwise, I would just run without and then use a single side. You just want to disengage from these two? Yeah, but okay. I can also just try to run. I'll I'll allow it. Uh, cool. You're you're like trying to uh, basically flavor wise. You're trying to get the attention of this guard in particular, who is currently focused on Tekka. Like yeah, sure. Uh, so you duck beneath the blows, uh, you can only move 50, 15 feet. Oh. Difficult terrain. Sorry. Unless you have something that lets you ignore it. Nope. Okay. I guess I have a dash action now left. <laughs> well, not if you're disengaging. Oh, yeah, I disengage. Oh, unless you're not disengaging. No, 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 I'm disengaging from two upstand on the runouts, I'm not. Okay. Um, so you're ducking beneath the blows of a couple of those guards, and then you're like poking with the back of your sword at this one, who's focused on Tekka, uh, but turns back, uh, and seeing you attempt to leave, he tries to strike you down before you can cross that line. Uh, for a grand total of <laughs> nine to hit you. No? Yeah. All right, it's my turn. Pontifex. I could. Or I could not. <laughs> but I should. Um, <laughs> so, Pontifex is not affected by the water being a uh, difficult terrain. This is <laughs> element. He'll just like hunker down and just like happily really? lays through the water. Like, at least he's nice. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see this one, but. Uh, yeah, are the lights above the door? Good. Ah, yeah, now that you're over here, you can see the two of them are lit. Okay, time to go. And I'll, uh, ping, light this thing. Mm -hmm. Um, you cast your spell into this crystal that absorbs uh, the magic within itself and it begins to glow. Uh, and then each of these three crystals that are currently glowing, um, magical energy arcs from one to the next, and then to the next, uh, and then... Oh no, a tabletop sim. Don't let me down. Alright. Uh, from one to the next, and then the next, and then the next. Uh, and the door in the middle uh, also begins to glow a little bit. And then the light begins uh, to fade. Uh, and... Devamia uh, pushes the door open. I can't delete these anymore. They are part of the, <laughs> of the environment. Uh, and when the Vamia oh, uh, pushes the door open, uh, from her perspective, uh, Pontifex, from your, from your perspective, you see just this, like, uh, blackness. Uh, from mm -hmm. everyone who's on this side, uh, they see a familiar room uh, through the entranceway. Uh, one with uh, one that is circular in shape and with multiple other doors inside, and there's, like, this spiral circus directly in the middle. Uh, yeah, that's my whole thing. I can't mm -hmm. move. The anymore. is like le speed. leaning over and saying, "Cool." <clears throat> um, do we want Pip to step through the door? Can he help? Otherwise, he can scooch people. He can pull someone. Yes, he could pull. Yeah, Tekka. I guess he can scooch someone and then go through the door. He could. He could pull Pekka. Doesn't Tekka have 50 million move speed? Uh, yeah, he, uh, Tekka is, and is not affected oh, by difficult terrain. Oh, yeah, but he terrain. wouldn't take attacks of opportunity. Um, or at least a couple. Yeah, and this one has used its reaction, so he would take none. Uh, but that's assuming that Tekka is willing and also willing to let go of Kavik. Hmm. Oh, true. Uh, so Pip shouts, uh, and the voice comes from Squeak, 
and uh, he's probably saying something. Hold on, Tech, I'll, I'll get you out of there. Um, and Tekka, do you do you resist? No, do not resist. Then you are moved five feet in this direction. You let go of Kalvik. Or do you want to drag him with? I guess no, it's an option. It, okay. No, it, it's like a, it's a push away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and the, the, the force that pulls you feels, feels gentle and friendly. And even though you're dragged across the ground, the water makes it like less painful overall. Mm -hmm. um, maybe you didn't have to move that much to do it. It's actually uh, sufficient. Uh, which would leave him with enough movement to get right through the door. Uh, which is convenient for me, so we don't have to worry about Pip anymore. <laughs> uh, and you're seeing him uh, through the entrance where he's stepping into this room, uh, the Pontifex from your point of view, like you... Well, it, 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 you know how the door works, but it's still kind of weird to see him be walk behind this open door and not just seeing him show up where you are. Uh, Leshkri... There is a small conversation that takes place uh, at this moment between Leshkri and Potrokash, and Miravesk also uh, uh, chimes in. Uh, and those of you who are watching this, you see Potrokash just smile uh, with uh, just this genuine uh, sort of... Uh, it's a sincere and kind smile, and he's nodding. Um, Miravesk is putting a hand on Leshkri's shoulder. Uh, and as this conversation progresses, uh, Leshkri lowers her hand, and the rain is still falling, but not uh, at the exact uh, uh, insane amount as before. Uh, there is a thunder strike somewhere, but it's not nearby. Uh, and Leshkri takes a step back. And when she does, instead of moving through the water, her feet land on top of it, and she walks uh, like this uh, uh, foot and a half, two feet off the surf, uh, off the ground, uh, stepping directly on the surface of the water, uh, unimpeded by its presence. And she'll begin to back away. She's actually holding like her a, a dash action, um, so she's stopping over here, and it's mainly that she's waiting on uh, uh, just like instructions and permission. And uh, you can see that she's like a little hesitating, looking into the door. Uh, but she seems willing otherwise to come with. Uh, squeak flies through. Oop. Kalik is no longer pinned down. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. As soon as I'm being indecisive, I'll leave it up to a, to a roll. Okay. As Kalvik stands up, he makes eye contact with Tekka. Um, Tekka, you being on the ground, being dragged by this invisible force. Uh, you, glance, you glance back at the situation that is unfolding ahead of you. Uh, and the... even... despite the language barrier... Um, you can just see uh, the determination in Kalvik's eyes, and he is not willing to let you go. Uh, so I am going to need a dexterity saving throw from you. Okay. Oh, here we go. Amazing. Oh no. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Oh. Oh, am I doing this right? Yes. Okay. 
That means you will be taking... It is 19 points of radiant damage. Uh, as water beneath beneath you uh, begins to boil up and it's becoming again intensely hot more than it, uh, it should be possible and this beam of light uh, envelops you it travels upward through your entire body you can feel uh, you can feel it almost uh, uh, unmaking the very uh, the very essence of your being. Oops. That will be Kalvik's turn. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do the roll. Do the roll. <laughs> it's not 15 again. Uh, <laughs> that <go>. deja vu. <laughs> okay, and it's turn. Okay. What can Talix do? Can Talix... What can Talix do? Oh, <laughs> so far away. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> five feet away. Oh. God damn, Metallic, you're slow. I really, there's difficult terrain, so. Oh, right. is this one inside here as well? I saw it only. Yeah, everything. Oh no, sorry. Um, I just said a lash squeeze uh, lower in your hand. Right, right, right. Uh, but water's still draining. Yeah, no, this doesn't go away. Uh, yeah, it's difficult to me. Uh, well, well, well. I think we need him in case we need one heal, right? Or does he dip? He doesn't. He wouldn't dip. He wouldn't dip. Talix doesn't dip. Like, she is bleeding <laughs> out? Tekka's on the ground? Truly, yeah, he, would, he would probably stay to heal, right? Probably would stay. Alright, then he's going to Muravesk and stay there. He's dashing to get to this spot? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, probably dramatically shouting Tekka's name. <laughs> Shouts Tekka's name dashes to Nerovesk. <laughs> 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 uh, um, as the guards are beginning to surround Tekka. Oh god. Uh, because of the difficult terrain and such. Uh, this one of these closest can just grab him. Uh, and uh, 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 uh. these two. 10, 20, 30. Oh, wait, we're doing diagonal movement. Uh, so more like this. Right? It's difficult terrain. It's a little weird. Coming here would take 15 feet of movement and it's double, so it's 30. Yeah, so up until here. Uh, and everybody else is backing away. Potrakash is being pulled away. Ah. So it's like this. Tekka is being taken away. Um, and everybody's sort of like surrounding him uh, and staying near him. Nobody dares to cross that line. Um, and and <laughs> despite Pip technically being very, 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 very far away from this, uh, he's also simultaneously not. So that remains uh, in effect. Um, any instructions for Meravesk? Probably to get out, right? Yeah, I think so. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Mirrorsk is is a little dizzy from the from the uh, a little dizzy <coughs> from the lack of uh, from the loss of blood. Uh, she'll move uh, her full movement here. That's fifteen uh, doubled because of 
difficult terrain and she'll dash and she's grabbing Lashkri's arm and pulling her in uh, Devamia was going to go in but she sees Tekka being taken What can she do? <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> uh, Alright, let me let me see the distance. Okay. She has a bow. So she's going to shoot the one guard over here. Uh that has Tekka. Uh, and she's just going to like... Oh? Can you guys still hear me? Yeah. yeah. Alright, because I, I see can't. you disconnecting from TTS. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, Dennis and the Sid both. Yeah. Huh. I think I'm going back now. Oh so. yeah, I'm out now. It's just, it's just Europe. Just Europe. <laughs> yeah, I'm just Europe here. things. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the Vamia misses on her shot. Oh. Uh, she has extra attack. Still misses. Uh, and she is shouting, What did I just tell you? <laughs> um, but she, she's a bit, of a, 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 a bit of an awkward angle. There's a lot of other guards in the way trying not to get to, uh, to hit Brook or hit Tekka himself. And the air is... Um, they don't find uh, their targets. I'm disconnected from Steam, by the way. Oh, Steam is being mean? Mean Steam? At least to me. Not gonna lie, I don't have anything to get tech out. Except for pulling him. And I'm not sure if that is gonna work. <laughs> yeah, you don't have the movement, you can go up to him. No. But then it's difficult to rain and you'd be stuck there. Hmm. Maravesk left? Mm-hmm. Maravesk left. And there's only Tekam, me, Devamia, and... Pontifex in the back. Hey, hello, it's me. Way in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Let me check one last time. Yeah, I can't do anything. I've used it all. <coughs> Do you Actually, make an escape and go another day for a rescue mission? I mean, that's an option. I guess so. I will, before I leave, <coughs> the person pulling Tekar, is he like 30 feet away from me? It's this person. I I, go, I don't know. I'm I don't see it. Uh yeah, it's within thirty feet of you. Sorry, I forgot you were disconnected. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, twenty five feet away. <coughs> I think I will cast the blood curse of binding on him, which is a strength saving throw. Hey. DC thirteen. Ten. Actually, I can do math. What happens on a failure? On a failure, his speed is reduced to zero, and it cannot take reactions until the end of my next turn. Okay. Uh, it. Hmm. What what is it called? Blood curse of binding. Binding. Okay. Um. 
much, much like uh, uh, all their magical effects that we have seen today. It kind of looks like the water the feet around this, this guard is rising up uh, and to to wrap itself around its uh, legs uh, and just um, hold him in place. But the difference is that rather than water, it's blood red. And um, do I leave? Can I hope one of you guys have something to help him out? You can get closer to the door. You wouldn't be able to leave since you can't dash. Wait, no, unless I was a bonus it's action. A, it's, a, uh, it's a bonus action. Then you could leave. Can I get some input from the others? <laughs> it seems like the party's worn out. I don't know if there are many options, so... Do you have anything, Mad? Uh, Pontifex has not had anything he could do uh, aside from cantrips uh, since the first round of this combat. Yeah. Uh, so, no. I mean, I can... I can try to murder them with an onslaught of 2d12s every turn, but that, <laughs> that's about it. There's murder. There's that. Okay, we'll come back. Yeah, I think the way I see it, like, make your escape, recover, and yeah, see if there's an option for rescue mission. <laughs> like, I don't see another turn, another way. I don't think so either. Nope. All right. Okay, Brooke, you look back at the, the unconscious body of Tekka, uh, and you're just racking your brain, thinking of ways to help him, and you can't come up with anything. Uh, and you'd say something to him, but he can't hear you. No. And all that's left is for you to silently, and in frustration, pull back. Yep. I'm already. Pontifex? Um, did... Uh, Kalvik can't speak Plurnan, right? Like, the only one of these people that speaks Plurnan is, uh, is the mom and the girl, right? And the one translator that is currently not here. Yeah. Oh. The one you liked. Wait, no, that doesn't speak well, Plurnan, favorite. sorry. Um, that's, that was, that was, uh, Essence. Sorry, sorry, you're correct. It's just the two of them. Uh, Lash okay. creep with just perfect uh, mastery of the language and uh, uh, her mother not not as much. Uh, okay then, Pavex in. Oh, to here then. I can only get to here. Uh... You're not dashing. I'm thinking about it. Hi. Devamia can't speak their language, can she? No, she speaks as in fair, and there's one person that spoke as in fair. You remember to speak to Dalvi uh, to to Kalvik. She had to speak as in fair to the translator, and the translator translated to him. Mm. Uh, yeah, I don't think I have anything either. Well, yep, gotta make that call. <laughs> it's time to go, I guess. Yeah. It's in conscious roll, so I'd say something, but nope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Pontifex would go through. Pontifex steps through the door. Okay. Um, those of you looking back through the door, and Talix and Devami were still on this side, uh, see Kalvik approaching Tekka, uh, and putting a hand on him. Tekka, you don't need uh, you to roll anything. Okay. Is Talix retreating too? Yeah, if he sees uh, the rest of us. I guess... Damn, all of his cantrips are... Touch! <laughs> 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 I need this healing was touch! 
Boink. With no other options available, Palix and then Devamia last also step through the doorway. Uh, through the open door, uh, you watch as some of these people are taking Tekka further away. Um, while Helvik is turning his attention back towards the door. Uh, do you guys close it? Uh. Yeah? Yeah, you close the door behind you? Mm-hmm. All right. The last thing you see is just Kalvik raising a hand as if about to cast a spell, and you close Ooh. the door. Um, you all find yourselves uh, in silence. Oh no, what have I done? That's not what I meant to do. Ah! Oh well. Uh, here. These can go. Uh, you all find yourselves uh, uh, in silence into a familiar room, uh, one you haven't seen in a few days. Uh, while the door was open, water was flooding in. Uh, and with the door now closed, this door, uh, the, the floor is wet, but uh, uh, the water level is not uh, rising up anymore. And uh, you hear a sound of wet footsteps coming up from the staircase, from the floor below, uh, as Orm pokes his head uh, through uh, Orm Tinart uh, and says, <sighs> Again? <laughs> and that's where we'll end the session. Aww. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Well... So Sanya is just me and Matt, huh? <laughs> oh no. Uh but yeah, what is what is the, the Sunday plan? Is everyone supposed to be there this Sunday? Except Austin. Austin isn't. Except Austin. Good, that means he can't guilt us. <laughs> Nobody tell him. <laughs> and then when he comes back in the session, he will just see a new character from Sid. <laughs> oh, yeah, take the phone he was looking for and uh, got a new character. He's Rough. Oh, that's a cool way to end a session, though. At least I think so. Very cool. Yeah. Most of you made it. Good job. Yeah, we were so close. We were so close. I'm excited close. and also nervous. <laughs> but yeah, uh, thank you very much for attending. Thank you. Um, particularly this being an off day. Uh, so yeah, th thank you. And I will see you in two days on a Sunday like we normally should do. Yeah, I'm excited. Right. Yeah, very curious. All right, I'm then. <laughs> Do you want me to summarize? Uh... Oh, we can probably talk about that. Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll we'll talk about your summary. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna let you go now. Time to end the stream. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. -bye. Goodbye. And the stream is stopped. Damn. Huh. Not gonna lie, I saw it. I feel bad. <laughs> Don't, I think that was really no, he's the only person in this group with any real sense of morality. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Talix is gone, and now Tekka yeah. is gone. You two were literally the only reason we didn't just murder our way. <laughs> yeah. Like they, Does it mean Pontifex I am the moral Pip, compass now? Pontifex and Pippa are just gonna... This freaking mercenary is our good boy. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, Certified it. good boy. I, I'm just picturing Pontifex and Pip like taking Leshkri and just like marching back through the door and being like, here, go ahead, have fun. <laughs> we want to trade back. 
<laughs> we don't want this one. We want our devil back. <laughs> Not worth. Bad trade. Not gonna lie, that father of Lash Cree was a bait. He knew what he was doing. He knew he was going to keep Tekka there. And he succeeded. <laughs> it was all a ruse. <laughs> well played. <laughs>